Wait, hold on, I don't have my headphones on. This is- guys, you don't understand. I have had such a day today. It's been such a day. Hi, happy new year. First stream of the year. Welcome back, everybody. Oh god, hold on. I gotta figure out how I want my hair to look underneath these headphones. I'm still not used to my stupid haircut. I don't know what I was thinking, cutting my hair. Anyway, hi everyone. Happy new year. 2024, first stream. I'll tell you about my day. Oh my god, you- <laughs> Oh my god, I have the most embarrassing story to tell you too. Oh, we have, to, we have a lot to talk about. Anyway, so listen, here, here's the deal chat. Here's the deal. You know how- okay, so I've told a story before, but one time, a long time ago, I had- you know how I have like headphones like this too? I- Dan like sat at my desk for a second, and he- used my headphones for a sec, you know, because he was here at my desk, and he was like, Kayla, you can't hear out of one of the ears. And I was like, what? Turns out, the whole time they were broken, could only hear out of one ear of them for like an extended period of time. I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, I broke Dan's headphones on uh, Saturday or Sunday, I forget, because I dropped them and like literally this part like came apart on Dan's headphones. It was pretty bad. Sorry, Dan. I like to totally court. It was a whole thing. So I let him borrow these headphones on uh, Sunday because I felt bad. <laughs> and he sits down at his desk and he says, Kayla, you can only hear out of one ear. And I said, no, there's no way. But you know how I've shown you this? It's not the headphones, it's the cord. It's because I keep pulling at this. Only one ear works. You guys, I swear to you, I can't tell. I just tested it. Now I can tell. There's nothing coming out of this ear. When it's sitting on my head, I can't tell. I, there's something wrong with me. I can't... It's not... I can hear out of this ear. But I just can't, like... I, it's not a hearing loss thing. It's like a processing thing. Like, I can't tell. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so... No, it's not the headphones, Diana. It's the cord. This is just like a random Amazon cord. These are wireless headphones. I use them with a dumb cord because of my stupid mixer. It's not the headphones. It's the cord. See? I just need to buy another dumb Amazon cord. But <laughs> it's not Logitech's fault. It's not the headphones. It's just the cord. It's me and the cord. <laughs> Um, but I think, I think I have some sort of like auditory process in something because this ha I, this happens to me with a lot of things actually, not just headphones. But I'm like starting to realize as an adult, there's something going on. There's something going on. Anyway, I just need to get a new cable. Dan has a cable that I could use, but it's black and I don't like it. I want it to be white to match. So anyway, I just need to get a new headphone, headphone cord, but it's, it's fine. That's my life update for you. <laughs> Anyway, hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's day one, day two, I guess, of the new year, but day one of my stream of the new year. Uh, and we're gonna do some building today, I think. I haven't decided what I wanna build yet. Um, I just wanna build something. And I'll tell you this. Earlier today, I was recording a YouTube video. I was doing a build, okay? <laughs> I don't even wanna tell you about this whole thing. I had to take a break from the middle of the recording to cry because I was getting like a lot of very stressful emails. So I had to be like, okay, <laughs> relax. <laughs> so I had to take a break to cry. I come back to finish building. It was like maybe 20 minute break. I come back to finish building. I finished the build. I'm putting in some final touches, you know, like a, the last plant, you know, like I've got like one or two things left on a place. You guys, my game crashed. I hadn't saved a single time. The build was done. It was done. I could have put it on the gallery, but I didn't because I was like, oh, let me put one more plant. Oh my God. So now it's ruined. The build is ruined. The build is gone. It doesn't exist anymore. The video's ruined. The day is ruined. And now I'm kind of nervous to build again. So we just have to keep it in mind that we need to save a lot today. <laughs> we're going to build today, but we're going to remind ourselves that we're going to save frequently. <laughs> okay. We're going to save a bunch because I don't trust the Sims 4 right now. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, Bonnie. 
Uh, and Levins and Kate and Marie and Emma and beloved Jasmine and Laura and Doro and Courtney. Um, we got Maude and Jen and Verb and Queen Cherry and Daisy and Enchanted. Um, also Thea and Buffy and Avalon and Sweet Pea and Colorful Nick and Emmy and Akon and everybody. Thank you for the subs and bits and stuff. I really, 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 really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, okay, I don't think we should build the green gen house. I don't think we should start with that just yet, but we can build something. And I, I don't want it to be tiny. It just can't be like a set of four townhouses and two basement apartments, okay? We need to do like normal sized build. <laughs> Let's not do something wacky. Let's do a normal build. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to do a community lot. I don't know if I'm in the mood for a community lot. I'm not really sure. Um, but base game town help. This is what I'm trying to say. No townhouses. <laughs> we need normal build. <laughs> I've, the last build I did was like, took me days. It was like a six unit thing. We gotta, we gotta chill with this. We gotta chill with this. Okay. It's too much. Um, so, oh, now someone said a vet. Wait, I don't know how to build a vet. I don't know, like, I, I think what I struggle with with this is, like, I don't know how it should look from the exterior. Um, I'm, like, bad at building community lots for that reason. But what if we built a, what if we built a vet? I haven't built a vet in a while. I know I just said no community lot. But that could be interesting. I don't know. Tiny fairy cottage. Oh God. <laughs> I, I've built a few fairy related things recently. We've really been like trying to manifest this fairy stuff, huh? <laughs> Eva, thank you for the bits. Um, thank you so much. And with the tier three, 14 month resub, Bonnie with the bits, uh, and Kia and frankly and Hex and Shadow, uh, Broom, Leslie, CMS and, and Dave and curly hair and Marie. Thank you so much everybody. Um, okay. Let me, hold on. Let me make a poll of a couple of my ideas and then we can discuss. What to build? Vet. Cottage. I don't know. Is that all my choices? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hi, Rosina. Thanks for the raid. We're trying to decide what to build right now. We just got here, so you're here at a good time. We're actively trying to figure out what we want to make. There's discussion of maybe trying to build a vet's office. Um, because I haven't built a vet thing in a long time. So, that could be kind of interesting. Um... We shall see. We shall see. It looks like vet has like 62% of the votes. Maybe we're in the, in the, in the mood for a vet's office, a cottage vet. Okay. Hold on. I was just looking. This is not a cottage vet. Here's a real life vet. This is carriage animal hospital. Mm. Um, I'm going to see if I can find us some more pictures. We could do a cottage -y vet. Here, this one, <laughs> look how small this picture is. <laughs> this one's an animal hospital too. Not that you can tell. I don't know. I struggle, I think, I think my problem with building community lots and why it's like so hard for me is because I have in my head, like maybe it's just because of where I live, but a lot of the places where I live, like, like the vet office that I go to, I swear to you guys, it's like a big concrete box. There's no visual interest. It doesn't even look like an old house. It's just a concrete box. And so when I when I try and picture how I would do something like that in The Sims, I'm like, ooh, this looks too much like a house, but what my vet looks like is ugly. No offense to them. Um, <laughs> so I just like, I don't know. <laughs> That sounds so sad. It's not that bad. I'm being kind of mean. It's like like a built in the 70s kind of vibe though, you know? It's a little ugly. <laughs> it's a little bit ugly. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Um, most vet clinics near you are in strip malls. Yeah, that's interesting. Mine, mine is like a standalone building. Um, so... Okay, um, I think I want to go into Brindleton Bay. Yeah, your vet is an old repurposed house. Yeah, I've, I've seen that kind of stuff happen a lot. I don't think that it should be a 40 by 30 lot. 
Right? Isn't 40 by... And this is where the regular vet is, but isn't 40 by 30, like, too big? Is it a limited pack build? We can do limited pack build. What do you guys think? Let's do another poll. Hold on. Packs? Question mark? I'm making it. Okay, we'll do only cats and dogs. Um, any, no, maybe, maybe like one to three packs or any packs. You can vote. We'll see what to do. Yeah. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Alex, Anna, Flap Attack, and Eleni, and Lulz, and Pink, and Tiana, and now thank you for the subs. Okay. Oh, well, most people say any packs. Okay. That's a uh, strong words from chat about this one. Seems like people want to use anything. Although, this lot has lovely lighting. Thank you, game. Finally, something good. Cats and dogs and horses. Ooh. So, obviously, the horses don't actually have to go to the vet in The Sims. But we can make it so it's like... Are you kidding me? Oh. <gasps> This is not terrain paint. That's just there, stuck on the lot. No way. That's just what the, that's the grass, basically. You can't delete that. <laughs> oh no. That's probably always been there, but I don't usually bulldoze this lot. So you have to build over that, because otherwise, like, it's, you just can't get rid of it. There's a few lots that are like that in this game. In particular, I think of the, um, you know the Magic Realm lot? They're, they have a whole bunch of stuck terrain paint, too, that you can't get rid of. Put grass terrain paint on it? Yeah, okay, so that's the thing. You say that, right? You're like, oh, just put some grass terrain paint on it. The grasses don't match. None of the grasses match. They're all, like, slightly off. Most of the base game ones are a totally different texture. They use this texture again in Horse Ranch, but even then, it's the wrong color. We'll cover it. It'll be fine. But just something to complain about. <laughs> Rach, Faithy, Sharpie, Cat, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, this physically hurts me to see. Yeah, isn't that painful? I don't know if I'll do it on this lot or not. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um... We'll kind of see how it goes. Um, all right. Sometimes with this sort of thing, I have to just start building. And then if we have to bulldoze, then so be it. As long as we have, like, we got to start throwing out some ideas, you know? You think 20 by 15? We could do it on a smaller lot. This lot is quite big. I, I don't think I want the vet's office to be that big. But also, I kind of like the idea of it being, like, wide. Maybe not that wide. And then maybe if there could be, like some sort of apartment that belongs to like the vet owner or something this, this is not what i mean it's not gonna be that wide but we could maybe have like a place to live upstairs you know what let's try it on a 30 by 20 and then we'll see we'll see if um we need more space because we can always go to a bigger one that's maybe a good idea okay we'll try it in willow creek you want me to build it in willow creek I was gonna do it here in the cats and dogs world, but we could do it somewhere else. I just love Brindleton Bay. I think Brindleton Bay is so beautiful. Um, in the cottage living world, vet for horses. Yeah, people keep saying this. Okay, so again, the horses don't have to go to the vet in The Sims 4. I want it to be a functional vet, and I don't know what on earth takes place at a horse vet. I don't have a single at all frame of reference for that. I don't know a single thing about horses. So the more you say that, the more I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's just start building. We can always move the lot it's on too once we start building it. We need to like stop getting in our heads about this and just start thinking about it, you know? Because the more, the more we sit here trying to throw out ideas, the harder it gets. So, we just gotta do something. And then once we've started, we'll be ready to go. I and mean, we can always change it. <laughs> Ace, Erica, Anna, Carl, Lilith, thank you for the subs. All right, let me change the stream title. Um, building a vet's office into the stream title. Okay. Um, 
I did like kind of that picture that we were looking at before of the um, the small one, specifically because I liked how it had, I don't know if you saw, but I really liked how it had this, the uh, shingles on the wall. It had like some kind of brown shingles like that and I thought that was pretty nice. So maybe we can try and use that as an inspo to have like some shingle accents places. Um, same as a normal vet, just bigger. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on, guys, I know how to do a horse vet. That's the wrong, wrong thing. I tried to make it a rental lot by accident. <laughs> no one's gotten into me. Stop! Oh, I'm falling apart. Look. Here's how you make a horse vet. See? Cat, horse, cat, horse. Easy. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Hunter, she builds houses. Emily, Ace, thank you for the subs. Oh my. Um, okay. Okay. Let's just figure it out. Maybe some rooms to keep pets for overnight observation. Yeah, we can try to maybe have some pretend things like that. I'm not opposed to that. Um, we can see how it goes. Let's just focus on like, like all the functional stuff first. And then if we need to, like once we have extra space in the end, we can add in more at the end, you know? We'll, we'll make sure it's like got all of the fully functional necessary items first before we do anything too too weird and wild. Yeah. <laughs> what about the sheeps and goats? Uh, so the sheeps and goats don't have to go to the vet either. I, I think that like, because it seems like everybody in the chat is really obsessed with this vision of of making sure that the place is functional like in a realistic way or whatever, but I'm I'm more primarily concerned with just making sure that it works for all of the stuff that actually it needs to work for. I'm not too worried about trying to make it have like sheep and goats and all of the other random animals that don't actually use the vets in The Sims 4. Like that part isn't so concerning to me, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I more just wanna make sure it works properly. And then if we wanna add any other decorative stuff after we've got the main stuff figured out, you know? The vet office came in cats and dogs. It's it's a like proper, like functional, actual lot type that you can own and run yourself if you wanted to. Um, and so I'm kind of trying to make sure it works for that first <laughs> before we do anything else wacky. This is what the picture looks like. And it's ugly. This is what the picture I was looking at looks like of the real one. Sometimes it helps me just to put it in the Sims for a second so I can kind of think about it. I'm not gonna keep this. This is just a inspo photo. Um, you want me to have cat, dog, and horse training in this? See, I think that we're all, we all have different visions for this. We all have totally different visions for this. You guys are talking about putting in like literally everything in the entire game. <laughs> and that's not really what I was picturing. <laughs> I, I didn't really have, um, cat, dog, and horse training on my bingo card. Um, today, at least. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, dog training, more likely. I, I don't think I want this to be a horse place. This is giving like Yeehaw Ranch. It's terrible. Hold on. Oh God, I'm not in a good building mood today. <laughs> Fluffy Fetch and Punk, thank you for the subs. Oh no, um, add a bowling alley in the basement. There you go. That actually makes total, complete, perfect sense. Um, and I think that's what we need. Look like a train station. It kind of did look like a train station. <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't think I want to do a werewolf vet. I've seen a few people say that. I don't even like werewolves. I just don't, I just don't think that's really like my vibes today, you know? I just don't really, that, isn't that kind of weird? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Something like this is my initial plans for the front, okay? Just a nice little, Lovely middle section. Oops, you scoot over this way. Don't know what color they'll be yet. We'll come back to that part, okay? One step at a time. And then I wanna get like a sign 
the vet stuff, we have quite a few things that might be good. I don't know if I want to use like that one, but we shall see. We'll give them like a cute sign like that too. Oh, is that sign better? Should that be our logo? Hmm. Is it a limited pack build? I don't think so. Uh, the chat did not vote for it to be. We did have a poll. Um, most people wanted us to just use whatever pack wherever. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet, personally. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We shall see. Peppa Pig inspired vet. Oh. Where's the door supposed to go if that's the front? Well, it's not done. <laughs> There's gonna be more. I'm thinking about the middle right now. We have to add on to it. Oh God. <laughs> Guys, it's a work in progress. We're, we're throwing out ideas and stuff. So let's not panic too much about if you think it's ugly, okay? Um, none of it's gonna make sense yet. We're just starting. I want the, um, okay. If I put this backwards, does it come in white by any chance? No, okay. What I want to have is for this to be backwards and like rotate it. Okay, no, 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 no. We have to get it just about right. Oh no. I'm gonna have a really hard time with this. Hold on. Is it even worth it? I was just trying to put, I wanna have like a circle there underneath this thing, but it's probably actually not worth it and I may be doing too much. We'll come back to that part. We'll come back to that part. Courtyard in the front with the examination rooms on the sides. Oh, courtyard. Oh, courtyard. What, if, okay, what if, here's an idea for like the actual layout of the building. What if it became something kind of like this? It's almost like a weird U shape, okay? Cause then they could have like, this is granted like almost too small, but maybe there could be like something like this, you know, like we have a hallway. I guess this could be a little bit wider. That would make this better. Maybe this becomes a bathroom, I don't know. So then there's like two examination rooms. That is like genuinely maybe an idea. It does mean that this middle section is quite big for possibly no reason. I We'd probably wanna have then the doors on like the side. Hmm. Again, we're just throwing out some ideas. Everyone's yelling at me to save, but we haven't even done anything. I'm probably gonna bulldoze this, you guys. No need to panic. <laughs> I'm probably gonna bulldoze this one again, so. <laughs> Let's not freak out, okay? <laughs> Everybody, shh, calm. Anna, two Annas in a row, thank you for the subs. And Cherry, and Milky, and Bumblebee, and Jordle, and Kay. Um, <laughs> and uh, Patch, and Tree, and Jenna, and Sammy, thank you so much. Well, we'd like to have a break room, yeah. Um, that is That is sort of my vision as well. So we might end up having one of these be a break room on the sides, we'll see. Um, okay, so maybe actually the entryway is like over here um, in this section. And then I guess those could be examination rooms. This becomes a really long, like unnecessarily long hallway, which I don't really want, but maybe we can make it work. That could be a bigger bathroom for the guests to have access to. And then what these things would be are like, this one's the surgery station. Here we have like exam table. That podium would go out there. And then we could have like in this room, well, I guess the medicine vending machines would go out here, but we'd have like in this room would be like the staff computers and all of that sort of stuff. I guess it would be nice if we had a second exam room though, huh? Can I make these longer? 
I wanted this to be a courtyard. That was like the whole thing. Someone said courtyard and I was like, oh my God, courtyard. <laughs> but <laughs> that's probably unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Is this for the next gen of Not So Berry? No, it's just for fun. There's no reason to have a vet clinic for Not So Berry right now. It's just for fun. Um, Starry, uh, and, and Die in Truth, and Jim Berry, and Layla, and Kenzie, thank you for the subs. You like the courtyard? Okay, I like the courtyard too. I think the courtyard is kind of cool. And then we'd have, like, space for the dogs back here, and that would be kind of cool also. So that's good, I think. I don't know. We shall see. Sometimes, again, you just gotta, this is, every time I start a build, it's a trust the process sort of situation. You gotta, you, you know, play as you go. Figure it out all as you go. <laughs> um, so I'm picturing that potentially this section becomes, okay, okay, here's an idea. Maybe this section could be like break room and space for the staff, and then we have both of these be exam rooms. Okay. I could probably steal some space from this so that they're equal size or like closer to equal size. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll find out. Saint Pulp's vet clinic. Oh my god. <laughs> saint Pulp? Pulp's a saint now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's actually 18 months. Maybe you're right. Okay, so here's what I'm picturing. Here's what I'm picturing at the moment. We would have... Pulp is a saint. Pulp's also immortal, so... <laughs> it actually isn't even that abnormal. Look how cute that door is, though. We'd have, like, a little door, and that's how you access the examination rooms. Um... And then there'd be a bathroom door here for everybody. Okay. Surgery goes here. And then this, like I was trying to say, this is like break room and staff area. So maybe we can have like all of the staff important stuff, like the computers and things in here. And then we can do all the break room stuff here. Like, a, like some counters and food and stuff. Is this making sense? Are we on the same page at all? There'd be like a microwave and a table for you to sit and then, you know, all the lab things or whatever. Okay. I think we've got the, the general layout sort of solved then. We just gotta figure out the rest of all this. <laughs> well, so the picture that I was looking at, I was it was symmetrical, which is why I did this. I don't know if I like it still being symmetrical. So we gotta kind of figure that part out quick. Um, but the picture I was looking at of that real life one was symmetrical and I thought it was cool. But I don't know if I still think it's cool, so we'll have to find out. Now you want to play as a vet? I, playing as a vet is like actually kind of fun. I like the vet career. It's a nice one. Okay, I don't really know what that's gonna be like. So, so what I was thinking initially is that we'd have a lot of wood accents because I really like the shingles. The shingles are like main inspo source right now. So we'd have the shingles up there. It can be like white and brown is kind of like the main color scheme. Can you get rich by being a vet? I actually, I think I did that once on YouTube. Um, I, you can make some decent money if you have a lot of money to invest in buying the clinic. The problem is like, it's not a good, like starter fund earner because you have to have the money to buy a vet clinic first you know um so that's part of the issue with running a vet clinic is that it's just kind of expensive to get it started because you need to buy all the the surgery tables and you know get all of that stuff together so it can be kind of pricey can you see the inspo pick again oh there's no need to show you it literally looks like this Sort of, but like the picture's like this big, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> the inspo was just about shape. It really, the rest of it isn't really that big of a concern. It was more just we were trying to figure out what shape it would be. 
Um, so, okay. I kind of like that vibe though with the columns. Uh oh. I think I need it to be, unfortunately, I think it needs to be skinnier. Does that even fit? Oh my goodness, this game is like, you always think you have plenty of space and then you try and lay it out and actually you have no space. It's always what I experience when doing this. It's not only gonna use one pack. No, it already uses multiple packs, in fact. <laughs> um, so it's, it's not gonna be a one pack build. Um, we've already got seasons growing together, cats and dogs. Got a handful of things going on already. I don't want to use too many packs though. Um, Queer, Serena, Jade, Moon, thank you for the subs. Okay. And then the end table is the size of an elephant. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that so weird? I've never understood that about this game. All of the like sizing is way, way, way off. Um, okay, here's an idea. I like the concept of putting a front door directly into the staff area. Okay, main front door, of course, would be here. But direct staff front door on the side. Potentially. Guys, I might, I might bulldoze again. I might have to. No, no, get it together. Will that confuse the Sims? Well, yeah, probably, Christine, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, okay. Ignore the colors. We'll get back to that too. <laughs> oh, I'm stressed. We're not off to a good start with this year. <laughs> nee, Sarah, Banan, and Nate. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Yeah, it'd be nicer if you could lock the doors. Although, if you were running this place, if you were running this community lot, you probably would be able to keep the Sims out of your place a little bit easier. Um, so that's nice, I guess. What? That's clipping. Oops, so are you. All right. Yeah, I think it's cute with the two entrances as well. The problem is, this entrance is strange, because that entrance is- it would be into an exam room. So it probably shouldn't have an entrance there. But... I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I- why did I decide to build a vet clinic? Clearly, I'm not- I don't know how to do this. I'm not- I'm just not an expert. I guess that color's all right, actually. There you go. Should I put these like centered or is that entirely too much? Is that better? I don't know. I don't know. Why is the railing clipping like that? Isn't that weird? Well, how has your day been today, chat? You had a good day so far? <laughs> KG, PG, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, get rid of some columns. Oh, see, I was trying to, to increase the amount of columns. So... That's no good. Mm, growing together. Put some stone at the base of that too. Okay. Interesting idea in theory. Um, okay. Yeah, today's been, I think, a rough day for a lot of, a lot of you, I assume, because uh, I, I know a lot of people went back to work today after um, having a little bit of a break for the holidays. And that I I know must be 
a rough one. <laughs> That's never fun the first day back, so I'm sorry you all had to go through that today. <laughs> Cabbage and Beloved and Anna, thank you for the subs. Um, well, that helps make it so it still looks symmetrical, even though there isn't a door there. So that's nice. Um, I don't know if I like that or not, but we'll see. You're still on holiday till the 17th? Oh, that's really lucky. I'm glad that you get some time off. That's really good. Um, back to work for you was super quiet. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's what you need. <laughs> that is what you all deserve, is to have a nice quiet day today, so... School doesn't start until Wednesday? Oh, good. That's really good. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know about these roof colors yet. Need to come back to that. I think I really do actually like the shingle texture, though. I think that's a good, a good thing. You're working on a new sewing project? Oh, that is really fun. I love that. Okay, guys, I have something terrible to say. The terrible thing is, what if it was blue? But look. Oh wait, actually the green one might be nice too. Cause that kinda, I wanted to match these little guys. It could also be potentially yellow. Wait. Oh. Wait, that's very sunshiny in kind of a cute way. What do you think about that? Like the yellow is kind of nice. And we can decorate it with like sunflowers and stuff outside. Thoughts on that? That might be the way. I think it helps to tie in because I want to have a lot of the wood, but also a lot of white. So I think that helps to like tie it together as well. Maybe I'm just saying that, who knows? Who knows? Okay. You prefer the green blue, but the yellow is nice too. Yeah, I feel like I always, I mean, we always do blue though. Aaron, Grumpy, Mega, thank you for the subs. I like how it matches the little dog. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's green, oops. <laughs> I was using the wrong shade and I didn't even notice. <laughs> we started painting the place yellow. Okay, let's get it together. Um, okay, so then back here, we're gonna have a courtyard for the Sims and it's gonna be so adorable. And then back, back here, way back, there's gonna be some sort of like dog training space. My vet's office, they have like dog classes, dog training classes. Not so much about them, you know, running obstacle courses, <laughs> I assume, but <laughs> I see the posters on the wall when I'm there. So there's that, I guess. Okay. You would do that as a human? What, an obstacle course? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> you would do an obstacle course? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, oh no, I don't like that one. Oh my god, why am I getting the wrong things all over the place? Your vet does puppy school? Oh, that's cool. That's nice to have. I'm glad they have that access for you. You thought the courtyard was a graveyard. Oh no, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. None of that, no graves, not today. Should it be brown? I wish we had more brown shingles in this game. That looks too samey, it's not good. But like realistically, in real life, brown shingles all over the place. Maybe that one's not so bad because it is like a stark texture difference from this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Squoo, Nicole, thank you for the subs. 
We can just see how it goes. We Maybe it would help us if we just left it for a sec and like looked at it for a while. Sometimes I, I really do think that that's like the best medicine when I'm struggling with a Sims build is I just, I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep it there for a sec. <laughs> just like let it sit there for a second and then we can come back once we've sort of figured out, you know, what it is that we're aiming for it to look like. But sometimes it, I don't know, if I'm, if I'm going back and forth a lot, like really struggling to see what I want it to be, you just gotta let it sit down, you know? Let it stay, stare at it for a bit, let it kind of soak in, and then you can actually figure it out. Marinate in the build for a second. Yeah, exactly. I can't see where these windows are supposed to go because of that tree. Not there, that's for sure. Okay. That's fine. Let it cook, as they say. Let it cook. <laughs> Sale, thanks for the month resub. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Very nice. I gotta be honest, you guys, I wasn't gonna talk about this. <laughs> but I may as well, because we're sat here building a vet clinic. Um, so one of my parents' dogs, there's like um, something like wrong with his foot. Turns out cancerous. Uh-oh, yikes, this is a new development. Learned this yesterday. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's going to the vet tomorrow. Um, and they're gonna, he's going like, put under anesthesia so they can examine it and maybe cut it off. So that's what I'm going through. It's been a rough couple of days. Happy New Year. <laughs> and then Chow was like, build a vet clinic. <laughs> and then I said yes, but <laughs> unfortunately, this is maybe a little bit too timely. <laughs> This may be a little bit too close. This is the second pet of my family's to get cancer this year. I'm just throwing that out there. That's not right. That's messed up. Ay ay ay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, sorry, we don't have to talk about it too much. <laughs> no point dwelling on it right now. We don't need to think about it till tomorrow, right? Ay, okay. Is that the wrong direction? Okay, cool. That's good. We'll get a nice little uh, doorway to go out to the backyard from here. It'll be good. Um, not to be rude, but how does your parents' animals always get cancer? <laughs> you can't say that. Next time someone tells you their pet has cancer, don't tell them. Don't say that to them, okay? I'm. <laughs> it's funny that you said that to me, but it's not okay to say to somebody else, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> Uh, my parents have uh, a lot of elderly pets. Um, it's very common. A lot of animals, a lot of humans even, get cancer. My dad has cancer too. Something in the water over there, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. Stop making cancer jokes, Kayla. Um, <laughs> you can't say that though. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> a lot of people's pets uh, get cancer. It's, it's uh, unfortunately very, very common, so. <laughs> okay, I like this little backyard. I think that's nice. Um, okay, very cool. Very, very cool. Let's get a sign next. Um, Jolyn, thank you for the 13 months. Oh, Deepad, I, oh my god, I hope that you're okay. That is so unbelievably stressful, and I am so sorry. Um, and M's and, and uh, Goose and Sale, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay. Okay, how about this? We get a little sign over here too. This way we can try to, you know, make it very clear that this is the front. Like, like bring your, your pets into this door. This is where the entrance is. Um, oh, the, the stair railings are really bothering me with the clipping. Why does it do that? Is it because of the like, I guess the edge of this particular fence is just quite big. So should I get a smaller one? If I, okay, so if we got a smaller railing, it wouldn't do that as much. I kind of like the metal on this one. I think that's interesting and different enough. Maybe? And then it's not doing the weird clipping anymore. Simmer Aaron, thank you for the gift for subs! And Sad! Uh, and Kings and Jolin, thank you for the subs too. Okay. I think that looks alright. Plus it's like a slightly different looking color scheme or something. Um, 
Okay. Very cool. Um, should we try something like that? I think what I want to do is have a little bit of landscaping in the front here, but I want to get like a nice... Did I save? No. <laughs> Let's do that. Becca, thank you for the 18 months. And we wanted to put some little flowers. Um, you broke two toes on New Year's Eve. Oh, Sarah, I'm really sorry. I So I don't want to show you up close, but you can probably see the horrible redness here. It's kind of gross, so I won't zoom in for you. But I burnt my finger um, making a gingerbread house, and it is... Every day since the burn happened, it hurts more and more. It's because it's healing. Don't worry, I've been like taking care of it. It's not like infected or anything, but um, it looks disgusting. <laughs> and it's my middle finger. So if I held it up to show you, I'd flip you off. I won't though. But anyway, it's, um, I, I'm actually in a lot of pain from this. It's very small, like you wouldn't think, but it hurts all the time. And sometimes it gives me like stabbing pains. So I'm just sitting here playing my Sims and then it's like, ooh, my finger hurts. Anyway, ouch. <laughs> By far the worst burn I've ever had. I've like, I've never really like properly, properly burnt myself this badly before, but I spilt like molten hot sugar on myself. So that would be why. <laughs> um, it is funny though. I keep uh, sending my parents updates of how it's healing and I just take a selfie like holding it up, but only holding that finger up. I don't want to do it. I won't, I won't hold my middle finger up at you on stream, but I keep sending him pictures like that, and I think it's really funny, so. <laughs> Do it? No, I'm not gonna let you take a screenshot of me doing that on Twitch. <laughs> It'll become like a, the Discord's gonna start trying to use it as like a reaction image. My friends already made, I sent, um, I sent like uh, some of my other Sims YouTuber friends, like Sasha and Steph and Jesse and them, um, a picture of it. And they made it into like, they made it into an emote in our Discord server. A <laughs> picture of me holding up my burnt finger, which is funny, but maybe not good for everyone's eyes. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. Um, colors, little yellow flowers, perhaps. Sometimes I like to use these to like line things like this. And then, um, Okay, maybe I'll size these down and then raise them up a little bit so we have some height variation. But then we can put some sunflowers in some of the other areas of the build, perhaps. Oh, I don't like that. Never mind. I've changed my mind about that. Sorry. <laughs> I decided I didn't like it. <laughs> I've changed my mind. We need to try a few different things instead. Maybe I could try and make it look a little bit more natural, the edge of this. Sometimes you just gotta use some bushes like these to like cover up the front edge. Then we can get some pretty flowers instead of a big stark fence, perhaps. Um, you could probably be small. Small fence lining or small bushes lining the back. Tree? Oh, a tree would be good. There's also like cat and dog topiaries. This one's like a poodle. And this one's a little cat. I don't really know what I should do about that part, but we could we could think about trying to use those. There's in general quite a few animal topiaries. That chicken is like way too big. What if we tried to, what if we tried to line it with animal topiaries? Okay. Imagine this for a second. It has like Of course the cat and dog are different colored ones. But I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> Mama Bear, thank you for the sub. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, sunflowers. Is there a horse one? I I think that the horse one is like a horseshoe and not a proper horse. 
There's also an elephant, but I don't know if I want to put an elephant. I don't know if we need to get another giant one. Yeah, they're not very visible is the problem. So we have to, once we get flowers in, they'll start to be more visible. Or we could potentially try to have them like lining the front properly. I don't know. We'll think about a couple things. Let me look first at... So they're in the new pack, in the rent pack, there's like a bunch of those um, planter boxes things. Can't elephants go to vets too? Well, yeah, but I don't know if ele any elephants are going to this vet. I don't think they would fit in the door. I didn't even want to have horses come into this vet. <laughs> so. <laughs> I didn't even want to have the horses. Now we're trying to get elephants. Um, I am looking specifically for something like this. If you size that up, whoa, that's huge. I'm kind of just wondering what, what it would be like if I had like a couple of these things. Oh, see, like this one. That's what I'm going for. I want something like that, because that actually blends in quite nicely. Do you want to try something like that? As our little front planter box, because that helps to raise it up a little bit. And then, that actually is like a perfect match with the color that we already used, that's weird. Gamification, thanks for the 21s, by the way. I think there should be some other, well, I guess that's the same one. If we wanted to like try to line the entrance a little bit more. I don't know where this would go. I don't think I want it to be on the sides. But we'd put like some some pretty yellow flowers inside the box, basically. Um I don't know which ones. We could do these. Why not install the better build by mod? I, I don't really use a lot of mods in my content, um, specifically because a lot of people watch my build videos to like learn how to build and like apply those things onto, you know, even on like console and stuff. And you can't have the better build by mod on console. So there's a couple mods that I simply cannot live without. For example, um, UI cheats I use a lot for like setting things up in my gameplay and stuff. So I'm not like opposed to mods. I just, I tend to use like a limited amount of mods and custom content in my gameplay. Um, the better build by mod would make my life a lot easier if I chose to use it on a daily basis, but <laughs> I'm, I'm used to, um, to not having it installed. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's kind of how I feel about it, I guess. I don't know. Okay. That seems nice. We'll have to think about the landscaping in this part a little bit more too. I don't know. Your UI cheats and MC Command Center won't download for some reason? Oh, weird. Um, that's really weird. I wonder why you're having that problem. Um, okay, I think, let me just save all of these guys quick out of the way so I can try and figure out some yellow. Um, yellow things, maybe like, probably not that one. I think mostly just base game yellow flowers, right? Like these. Where's the sign from? Oh, the sign is from Cats and Dogs. Um, they have a couple like vet clinic sort of signs. Um, oh, what happened to my sign that was on the wall? Did I delete it? What the heck? We'll have to put it back. That's annoying. Ooh, I despise that so much. Okay, no. Maybe we get some of these. Perhaps I could put some um, other bushes kind of mix and match in there. No, we're not just using the base game in Cats and Dogs. This is that horse topiary I was telling you guys about earlier, by the way. Um, we are not just using the base game in Cats and Dogs. In fact, I have quite a few 
um, packs that we're already using. <laughs> I never, ever, ever use this bush. I could probably count on one hand the number of times in my life that I have used this bush. I don't know why I use it so rarely. It could be interesting to put in the front here a little bit. It is very giant. That's okay though. You think it looks kind of funny? See, I think it looks kind of like Florida. It reminds me of a lot of the, the things I see around here. Um, maybe we could only do the cat and dog topiaries. And we could get them like kind of centered this way. With the windows. Because those, they're standing out a little bit more. And we can put some flowers behind them. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I never use this. Maybe no topiaries? You think no topiaries, really? I'm gonna try and get some of the yellow flowers that we had talked about to fill in some of the extra space. Um, maybe you could go like, no. Maybe you could go like that. Perhaps, I don't know. We'll make it work, don't worry everybody. Just is gonna take a few tries and that's all that matters, as long as we get it in the end. Okay, a couple rocks maybe to help split it up too. I think that's kind of cute and subtle in a nice way. You think different or darker columns? I'm gonna try and make the white and the brown match together. I understand that a lot of you don't like it, but I'm gonna try and make the white and the brown match. I'll, I'll try and get it to work, okay? Just give me, give me time and I'll make it happen. <laughs> We will make it happen. We just gotta, we just gotta think on it a little more and, and start adding in some more stuff so it all comes together better. Okay. Yeah, the planter box is debug. That planter box that I have in the front there is debug from um, the new rent pack, actually. The rent pack has some really nice planters, like some really, really, really nice debug stuff. Um. Okay. Cute, that's fine. That's fine too. We'll see about the sides afterward. Mostly I just want this to fit first. I don't know if I like it that much. It's kind of like, mm, I was going for overgrown originally, but now I'm like, oh, maybe it's too overgrown. So that's no good. Um, we'll get a nice, lovely little sign. Something like this. How can you fix the face pimples? Um, are you asking me this question about real life or about The Sims? Because there's different answers depending. <laughs> Um, if you're having a problem with your sims, <laughs> uh, and like having, there's a, there's a known bug where, um, the acne never goes away. Um, if you, if you don't like that in your game settings, um, if you go into the pack settings and you scroll down to the high school year stuff, you can disable acne. It'll turn off the acne on your sim and then it won't be there when they're an adult anymore. Um, it doesn't usually bother me. I kind of like I'm okay if my sims of any age have acne, but um, I know it, like some people want it to be able to go away. And if you can't get it to go away, that's how you do it. Um, it is a weird one that it does that, but that's how it works. <laughs> so yeah, the bug is that it stays after they age up um, when it's not really meant to. Um, it shouldn't be doing that, but it does anyway. <laughs> Um, and it's like sort of a known issue with the game, so. Um, 
Okay, next idea. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but it's an idea nonetheless. What if we had planter boxes underneath these windows? Did I scoot one of you over? No. Another lined up properly. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if I like this or not. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people, like a lot of adults in real life have acne and have like acne scarring and stuff. It's very normal to have that on your face. Like it's all over the place. So it doesn't really bother me if uh, Sims have it, but that's, it's not like the way that it doesn't go away is not how the feature is intended to work. Um, so anyway, that's uh, why some people ask about it sometimes. Okay. What about shelves under the windows? Oh, you think it should have shelves instead? Really? I actually kind of like this, but I don't know if it's too samey with like all of the yellow that we've added. Oh, I can't get that to be right. Oh no. Oh no, no. Okay, there we go. I think that's fine though. Um. Making them white could make it better. Oh, you think? The white has a different... Um, I don't think I like the white, actually. I kind of like the light wood. I, don't, I think the white doesn't really match. There are different planter boxes, but... Um, I think that kind of throws off our our landscaping plans. I guess we could try and landscape it with pink flowers instead. They're all different shades of pink though. That's what really bothers me about it is I wish that they like kind of matched a little better. I hate how the green, it like has to be this swatch, but I don't know. Prefer the yellow? I think I prefer the yellow too. I think I just prefer those planter boxes in general. We'll try and bring it all together. Jazz, Eden, Kate, thank you for the subs. Okay. You never do pink landscaping? Oh, do you not really? I I think I do pink landscaping a lot. I, I would almost say that I do pink landscaping the most out of all of the other landscaping types. <laughs> and colors. I think I landscape with pink the most often. You think a different swatch for these? Oh really? I liked that swatch the best. Which one do you like better? I don't really like how blue they are. I like this one because it has the white accents. Um, oh, that's bad. Look at that, big mistake. Okay, that's fixed now. Okay, okay, okay. You do blue a lot as well. Oh, with the landscaping? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, just a nice color, isn't it? Oh no. I don't like that. Always landscape with white flowers. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to have white flowers though. Okay, lighting. Let's see if we can get some outdoor. Some, I don't really like that one. Yellow and orange look like wildflowers to you. Yeah, I think yellow is, I, I never really know what my favorite color is in real life. I kind of go back and forth a lot, but if I had to choose, I think that yellow and pink are probably my two favorite colors. So I always like to do yellow landscaping. Um, something I do a lot in the game. Okay, those don't really, you can't really tell that they're far apart from each other though, so it doesn't matter. I don't think they're exactly even, but it's okay. <laughs> really, who's paying attention to that? <laughs> don't tell Shella, yeah, seriously, if Shella's still here, no, she's not. You think I have pink and yellow vibes, really? <laughs> I don't know 
really what really what that means, but um, I like that you said it. So, okay. Um, cats and dogs. Oh, Bailey, hey, I'm glad you can make it to the stream today. Welcome in. It's good to see you. We have a lot of fun cat and dog rug swatches. Let's do that one just with the paw prints because that seems quite like inviting. And then I'm thinking what we could do. This is catnip. I'm gonna get a couple of them because I'll end up planting some. Oh, maybe I maybe I'll get it from debug. Never mind. Um, what we'll do is we'll get a couple little catnips planted here in the front. Maybe. You have to look at swatches more than I've ever seen that one before. That happens to me all the time where I'll see a swatch and I'm like, since when has that existed? <laughs> I see it and I'm like, oh, we have that? Like, I didn't even know. <laughs> That's news to me. Um, okay, I wanna use, I, I actually kind of like the idea of the linoleum in some of these spaces. I don't really know if we should use it everywhere, but I don't hate it. Um, I forgot that you existed. Who, me in real life? Or is it a reference to Taylor Swift? You might mean me, in which case, hi, good to see you again. <laughs> what a thing to say. <laughs> um, can you remove the roof paint on the front wall triangle? I have no idea what you're asking. This? Oh, you don't like the shingles? Oh, the shingles were like my whole inspiration for the whole build. It's a reference to the swatches. Oh, there you go. Okay, that makes more sense. I forgot we were talking about swatches. Why does the bowling floor actually look good? It does actually, right? You wouldn't think that it would, but it kind of does. Are we getting a Twitch highlights? Yeah, Bob Duncan, I posted it on Saturday, Sunday. No, on Sunday. On the 31st, I posted the Twitch highlights video on YouTube. I did, in fact, already post it. Um, it's called something like all those worst Sims glitches this year or something like that, but I posted it on YouTube. And the video got um, at, like restricted ads, limited ads, because uh, of the part where my Sim is drawing her boyfriend naked in The Sims 3. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> but yep, that indeed happened, so. It's a good clip though, so I don't really care. But um, yeah, I don't post a lot of content that gets like, you know, in trouble with YouTube, but that one, they didn't like that one. <laughs> okay, why didn't I go live yesterday? Oh, I took the day off yesterday because I spent some time with my parents. Um, we, my family's had a lot going on recently and we wanted to spend, uh, New Year's Day together. So that was kind of the idea. That's why I wasn't here yesterday. Um, okay, I don't know how I feel about the color scheme of this still, but we're getting somewhere. And I was, I'm not usually live on Sundays, and I was live on Sunday this, um, this week, because I streamed until midnight on New Year's Eve. So, that would be why. Um, no, YouTube didn't remove it. They just, uh, I, I like, I'm not gonna make really money off of it because it's like restricted. Because <laughs> um, basically when there's like inappropriate content, the reason this happens is because the people that pay YouTube to advertise on YouTube, you know, the companies that buy ads on YouTube, they don't want to advertise next to like, you know, uh, excessive profanity, drug stuff, sex stuff. They don't want to pay money to have their ad for, you know, soap next to that. Um, and so, uh, when content is deemed inappropriate by YouTube, it gets, like, limited ads or whatever, um, demonetized, kind of. And my highlight reel video did because there was a naked sim. It's kind of funny. It's, I'm not complaining about it. Like, I wasn't expecting to make a lot of money off of the highlight reel. Like, I didn't, you know, I didn't make that video thinking, this'll be the one that's gonna get all the ad rev, you know? Like, I posted it because I wanted to post a, a video that I thought no one on YouTube would watch because it was more for you guys on Twitch, but 
it funny that it got limited ads. Um, so. <laughs> Your Sims rental is being haunted by his grandfather? Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Good to see you. Glad you could make it. Um, okay. From what pack are those columns? Oh, these are growing together columns. Um, they're pretty nice, aren't they? I like growing together uh, build stuff a lot. Okay. Okay. So, you collected your first grave in your legacy challenge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys, this is my impact. Look at what I've inspired people to do. I've never felt so proud in my life. <laughs> no, it's, it's not a limited pack build. We're kind of just doing whatever um, with the packs today. So... That is what we are up to. Cool. You inspire us, Simsy. <laughs> okay, um, I'm glad. I'm glad that my Sims graves could inspire you. That really, truly, you guys, that means the world to me that you would say that. Um, wow. <laughs> no, what was I gonna say? Oh, oh, oh! Back here, we're gonna put. Um, in the, the backyard, we're gonna put like dog training stuff. You restarted the 100 baby challenge. Christine, I'm so sorry. My intention was never to put any of you through that. I, I didn't realize what I was, I, I didn't realize my impact when I decided to restart that challenge. And, and I, I really should have, I should have known about my influence and I, I should have made a, a greater effort to use that power for good and not evil. Restarting the 100 baby challenge and inspiring people to do so as well was evil. That was evil behavior of me and I'm really sorry. I, that was never my intention. I did not mean to inspire you in that way. <laughs> I did not mean to inspire you with that horrible challenge. <laughs> I didn't mean it, I swear. I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay, um, I like these little tiny rock things. I think they're kind of cute. You've been considering restarting? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, fill that all in. Formal apology with tears, please. Oh, that won't be hard. I've been this close to crying about that challenge multiple times. <laughs> Easy, easy to get a tear-filled apology about the 100 baby challenge, that's for sure. You tried and gave up after three babies. That's for the best, to be honest. I told some people that were saying they wanted to play it, because we, we played on New Year's Eve, and there were people saying that they wanted to play it, and I was telling them, I was like, listen, you don't need to have 100. You could do this challenge, and, and you could have, like, 50. And, and that's a little bit more doable for the average person and less miserable, you know? Call it the 50 baby challenge, give yourself a break. That's all you need to worry about. This would be cute for like a house. <laughs> I know it's the, the backyard of a vet clinic, but that would be cute for a house. If we ever did decide to do that. Okay. So let's look at more of the cats and dog stuff. Yeah? Cats and dogs. Nice. <laughs> Delete that, Jamie. Thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Oh, how about we put like a table back here? We could get a little table back here and then like maybe a grill of some sort. And that would be good. Oh, should there be a fish tank in the entryway? I don't think so. We'll have to see. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself right now. So this is where, when you come to the vet, you have to check in on this little thing. Um, oh, while we're here also, maybe I will like... No, that one's too big. Whoa, look how much space this stuff takes up.
Doesn't that seem like too much to you? How is one supposed to even like... Wow. Too much space, actually. Let me just get like maybe a little hoop. So you could run through that. So I think I can get one like right here and then another one. The thing is with this with these things, you really shouldn't do it with move objects on. You really have to kind of do it like when you're not I don't know, you have to do it like without any cheats so you know that it works. I mean, real life dog agility courses take up a lot of space, right? Christine says so. I don't know a single thing about dog agility courses. That's not, it's not my area of expertise. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> this is not something that I would consider myself to be uh, well versed in in real life. <laughs> okay, that could be nice. There's a little bit of stuff for you to train with back there, but not a lot. Liberty, Caitlin, lady, thank you for the subs. Your dog tried agility, but she was not good. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, it's okay. It happens. Okay, so we need to have a couple of pet vending machines. Realistically, you probably only need to have one. Maybe I'll get a pet vending machine and then like a real vending machine. Because if we had a real one that maybe sold some food or something, I like them next to each other, and then that's also useful for you, the player, because you could get food from it, um, and you can also, like, the workers could get food from it, I guess, I don't know. You could die from it. Great. <laughs> Lola XP Liberty, thank you for the subs. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like a waiting room, was kind of the idea. I don't know. Pulp photos? Do you guys think I should try and get some photos of pulp to hang up in here? I hadn't really considered that. It would be kind of cute if we went and like took a bunch of photos of Sims pets in game and like made a little gallery wall of a handful of photos. Hmm. Maybe that's a good call. Like a little patient wall, almost. Oh, that would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? Okay, we need to have like a reception desk. There isn't really a need for that in The Sims, but... Because in The Sims, this is the receptionist, basically. You just walk up to it and then like... It's done. But in real life, you probably have a reception desk. In, in my vet's office, um, they, they don't let anybody wait inside, um, so they don't have any seats in there anymore because what they want you to do is wait in your car and like text them when you've arrived um, and then they have you, uh, they'll call you in that way because it's like less stressful for the animals and stuff um, and also because of COVID. It, I think they would let you in before COVID more so, but now, like, after COVID, they have a good excuse. Um, but no one, you don't wait inside. Um, you wait in your car, and they come out, like, the, the people will come out and grab you and bring you inside. Um, so, has you call when you arrive? Yeah, yeah. They have us, they, they want you to text them. They're like, please don't call when you arrive. Please text us <laughs> at my vet. Um, which I prefer, to be honest. I do not want to call you either, so... <laughs> I actually like that about it. <laughs> I am very grateful, in fact, for that. Um, okay. Um, you went to the vet today? Nice. I've been to the vet a lot recently. <laughs> um, dine out, dine out, dine out, dine out. Okay. Yeah, I can't imagine trying to like wait in a lobby with my cats though. Truly, so um, it's it's pretty good that they do that because that would just be a nightmare trying to wait in there with cats. The cats don't want that. I don't want that. It's like bad for everybody. 
Okay, that seems nice, right? Maybe we can get the animal photos, like... Oh, I don't know. I didn't think this through. We've run out of space. Okay, how about this? You know from Get to Work, there's like, um... The little filing cabinet stuff. I want to get little filing cabinet stuff to put back here. I wasn't really picturing this one. I was picturing the literal cabinets, but I'm just looking, so I'm getting excited while I'm finding more stuff. Three tier computer rack. I can't find them. There it is. It was right there the whole time. <laughs> Um, I guess scoot them closer together. They're clipping in kind of an annoying way, but... Do they come in white? I guess the white might be all right. That could be nice with the filing cabinets. I don't know. Okay, and then they have access to a computer. Lunar, thank you for the five months. Um, if you just place the empty photo frames as a placeholder so it doesn't get marked as CC for console users. Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna, this is the problem, right? Like I would like to have patient photos up there, um, but that was kind of like my big concern too, is that if we actually went in and placed them, not even just for console users, but like everybody gets it marked as CC um, and then console users can't download it at all. So that's kind of annoying, um, but we can just put like placeholder thingies so people know where to put them if they wanted to do it. Um, paint from references. Yeah, paintings are a little bit better, but that's also bigger. I wanted to have like a bunch of photos and like even when you size down the paintings, they're still a little big. I'm gonna get some dog treats in here. Um, get to work. We can put a couple files out. Out and on this. Like they're actively being looked at or something. Treats, of course, because we need them. Um, scoot those over just a bit. Maybe a plant too. Uh, you think corner piece for the reception? I guess we could do that. I want like something more planty than that. Something's in my eye. Oh, oh, cute. Over Christmas, my vets had like a little uh, Santa like dog statue on their desk. I liked it. I thought it was cute. We can get the end piece. I don't know. Should I use multiple end pieces? That looks really weird from the front. That's the problem. They're all looking different. Why do you do this game? <laughs> Guys, Lee, do the sardines. Lunar, thank you for the subs. Oh no. Okay, I wanna put you just about here, like maybe, well, maybe I'll move it so it's like, that could be cute, right? Nope, scoot it over again. Just about there, maybe? I think so. I love this little thing, that's so cute. Can I add a woo spot? Oh, I, I wasn't really thinking about that. Maybe. You know what we could do? Hold on, let me get really quick the pencil cup that I was trying to get so I don't forget. But you know what we could do? Because <laughs> there's space for a closet. There could potentially be a closet in here if we really wanted to. <laughs> but there, there's also a woohoo bush right there. So I'm not that worried about it. It is like the vet's office, you know, chat. So, do you need to do that here? Or can you wait? What kind of sim would woohoo at the vet? I don't know, maybe they're like dating the vet or something. Oh, this needs to be smaller actually, because I want to have a door. My dream is to have these little doors into all of the exam rooms. 
And I think it would be okay if we just had this part kind of open. Maybe? This is like the lab. So we can make it easy access. Okay. Do they need a fish tank? Probably not. It will take up too much space. I have to stop. Tub for if a pet needs a bath. Yeah, okay, so that's what I was thinking about putting over here. I was thinking about putting a tub. I don't know if this is weird or not. Maybe we could always put it in like just one of the exam rooms too, instead of in both. But I was, oh, wait a minute, that's cool. Let's put that on all the doors. Um, but I was thinking about having like a bathtub of some sort to bathe the dogs. And it can be in like just one of the rooms. And this, you know. Nice, okay, that's fine. Should there be, oh, there's no space for a dog door. We could put a dog door back here. The problem is they don't match. They're, they're not gonna be the right color. And it's gonna be really frustrating for me. <laughs> The fact that it doesn't match. I guess it could be white, but even then it kind of bugs me. Snowy escape cat wallpaper? Oh my gosh. You're so right about that. Do I dare use the horrible? Yeah, it matches the fence, so it's okay. I, I think I'm just a little bit like, ooh, I don't know about this right now as I'm doing it because um, it's a little different than I would normally go for. Like this whole color scheme in general is kind of... Guys, what side do they get into this from? Do they get into it from this side? I want to have the sink there. They get into the tab side. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I don't really want this to be scooted over. Fine, fine. Do it, they can still get in the tub. Yeah, this is the thing. Sometimes, like, I, I usually just do it anyway and, like, commit, kind of. And they usually can still get in fine, but then sometimes they can't, so... You can also rotate the tubs. Um, and they're usually fine, but sometimes they're not. So then I just get stressed. I don't really know. I'm gonna like leave it though. I think. Um, I guess honestly, this light's probably good. I may, oh, it depends how I'm gonna lay out the exam room. I might have to come back to that in a minute. Um. Why is there a tub at the vet? Oh, in case you need to wash the dogs. Cause you know how when the dogs come and they, they're like all dirty from getting in the, you know, dirty bushes when they run away. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we put a tub there in case you need to wash the dogs. Cause you do need to wash dogs a lot. You were building a house earlier today and you completely forgot about the bathroom. That's pretty impressive, I would say. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, do we dare use this wallpaper in like some of the other rooms? I don't know. I think it looks all right. The Sims team did it too. So don't, don't make yourself feel too bad about it. I don't know, this linoleum is kind of, I'm not so sure about it, but we'll see. We shall see. I don't know if I like this here or not either. Okay, so in the hallway, I'm gonna get us some really nice pet posters. Linoleum feels authentic though. Yeah, I think it does too. I like it for that reason. It does feel right. Uh, we probably should get like a food bowl 
or maybe even two food bowls for the dogs and cats. Is the exterior finished? Um, more or less. I'm not, I don't wanna, I don't wanna outright call it finished yet though. So I won't answer that. <laughs> it needs a little bit more work probably, but for the most part, yeah. Um, oops, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that seems okay. I don't really like this wallpaper, I don't think. Maybe I do like this wallpaper. Maybe it's okay in here. Should I use this again? Out this way? Is it only for cats and dogs? Yeah, so the vets in The Sims 4, they don't need... Um, like, you don't need to use a vet for a horse, for example. Um, there is no such thing <laughs> in The Sims 4. Um, and so we are only decorating this for cats and dogs, yes, because they, uh, otherwise, no one needs it. Really. I know that's kind of sad, but... Change the floor, please. Uh-oh, here they go. They're gonna start complaining about our floor again, chat. No, that looks bad. No, 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 no. The floor is kind of like a horrible linoleum. Uh, sort of on purpose. I was, I was kind of doing it intentionally because, you know, in real life, you're probably going to be like potentially dealing with a lot of mess on this that you have to clean up. So, um, you might not like it, but I did pick it for a reason. It was intentional. Okay. The floor is very chic vet from the 70s. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of like that. I don't like that though. Maybe I give them a clock. I honestly though, honest, I actually think that um, the floor is cute. Like, dead serious, not exaggerating. I, I actually genuinely like the floor. So... I don't know. It's your favorite part of the room? Okay, good. That's perfect. I kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, think about it, you guys. There's there's pets who are gonna come in here, they're probably gonna poop on the floor. We just have to, we have to think realistically about our situation as we are doing this. Um, we're building a vet. <laughs> Like, oh, I wish that I could make that, um, I guess I'm okay with it being, please remove the inside doormat. Well, at my real life vet office, they have like, um, you know how a lot of community lots have kind of like. Honestly, something sort of like this. Where's the one from Dine Out? Because that's the one that's more realistic to it. My real life vet's office has a thing like this in front of the door. And that's not what you want to see. You're going to be mad if I put that here. You're going to think it's ugly. So, but you see this kind of stuff a lot of times in real life. And it's always like a blackish gray color. It's polite to wipe your feet and paws. You actually don't hate it. Yeah, I always put them inside too. I think the other one is cuter than this. It's like similar vibes, but I like this one better because it has the cute paw prints. How often do I go to the vet? Um, <laughs> recently, a lot. <laughs> recently, because I, I found the kittens. Um, so a lot, more than you might think. <laughs> Um, before then, I would say an average amount, but, <laughs> um, I had one elderly cat, but, uh, now I have three cats and kittens, um, they have a lot of doctor's appointments because they have, like, frequent booster shots and stuff, just like a human baby, um, so I was there a lot. Now they finished all of their vaccines, they're, they're spayed and neutered, the kittens are done, so they get to wait until 
their next regular checkup time to have to go back there. Um, so that's a win. Um, oh, look at this. That's actually nice. Is there a darker yellow for the wallpaper? Maybe. I'm going to think about layouts first, though. Um, is there a parking lot? No, there's not a parking lot on this one. There is not. Okay, I like doing this chair because I think it looks kind of like maybe it could be passing as like a chair that you could scoot around in the room. I'll give him a laptop. And then... Oh, yikes. Maybe it doesn't need to have an end piece on it. I don't know. I don't really like this color either. We can do it in yellow inside the rooms and that might be nice. Why would we need a parking lot in the Sims? Yeah, solid question. Um, I guess mostly just for fun. <laughs> uh, but I did not put a parking lot in this build. So. Okay, we're gonna do like a minty and yellow color scheme. It's kind of what I'm aiming for at the minute. What counters are those? Oh, these are from, um, they're from the Home Chef Hustle. I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> they're from Home Chef Hustle, these counters. There is a, uh, you're, so the, the chair that you're thinking of from Get to Work, it's not a bar chair, is it? Oh no, it is a bar stool. Oh, why did I think it was a regular chair and not a bar stool? I knew what you were talking about. I was trying to like basically use that, but I thought it was a regular chair and not a bar stool. So never mind. Um, we'll use that then. And we'll give them a sink too. In here. And probably some dog treats too. See me use these counters a lot recently. What does the emoji you put with that mean? I'm not really... Is that like a slash neg sort of comment? <laughs> um, I've used the counters a lot recently because they're new. And I like them. Um, I don't know <laughs> what you're trying to say. <laughs> they're good counters and they're new counters. So... Um... Okay. The vet career is like is like running a restaurant is kind of how it works. Um, so uh, you have to buy it and then like actively run it is sort of the way. Um, let's look at all the vet clinic items quick so we can see what they're trying to suggest for us. Oh, this is my sign that got disappeared. I'll put this little guy back too, cause I liked it. I know we have a lot of signs, but that's on purpose. Um, when it says waste disposal, it means like I need a trash can. Um, and it's correct, I do need to get a trash can. <laughs> I haven't put one yet. Um, we'll get some in the rooms and we'll put some outside. Oh, that's a good time to save the game. It was being weird just then. Elephant, Melina, Rubber Ducky, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, when we're gonna make a house for the green gen for not so very, um, not quite yet because currently the green gen is only a child. Um, they are still super, super young, so we don't really need to make them a new house just yet. Um, so we'll, we'll probably hold off until they're a little bit older and like, you know, closer to moving, moving out. So like when they're a late teen kind of, um, is when I was thinking. <laughs> Should I give them like emergency exit signs over the big doors? Mm -mm. That might be fun. They're giving you a lot of uh, complicated and incorrect information. It tells you to go that way. That's not right. <laughs> You're not going to build an eight-year-old their own house? You know, no, I don't think I am. 
I'm excited to build it too, but I, I don't want to build it too early on. I, I would like to wait until we're closer to actually needing it um, before I build the the house for our new generation of Nussoberry. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, um, which I think makes sense. Okay, paper towels maybe. Classic run around in circles till you find an exit. Yeah, it seems just like The Sims, huh? Honestly, a simple wallpaper like this might be the way. It's not so very on short lifespan. Um, we've actually been like going back and forth a little bit. Um, with the short lifespan and regular lifespan. It's on regular right now, but we were on short for a while. So. Okay. Um. Should I put like a couple of these guys on the wall in here? Some x-rays? Um, yeah, I think because we have like kind of a chaotic floor, I think a simple wallpaper is probably for the best. And I don't want to put too much else in here because I'm worried about like, one, making sure the sims can walk around this properly, but two, um, for, for necessary instruments. Okay. Cotton swabs. Oh. oh, let's do that instead of the dog treats. They can have dog treats in the counter or in the cabinets. How about, let me put these here or well, no, how about this? Put the dog treats back. Get rid of this. Put this guy, how many little jars of things are we going to have? Like that. Is that wallpaper very subtly a gradient? Yeah, it's supposed to be like kind of like a, a stinky basement wallpaper, but it's actually one of my favorite wallpapers in the game and I don't think of it as being stinky. I just think it's nice. I, I'm aware that that is a controversial opinion. So, um, yeah. I feel like this room does seem kind of maybe a little realistic. I've never been in the surgery room of my vet office personally, but best we can do with the tools we have at our disposal is what I would argue. So doesn't it have water damage on the bottom? I don't think that looks like water damage on the bottom. This water, it doesn't look that, let me look at it. It doesn't look dirty. The vet's office has to be at least a little bit stinky for realism, says Chad. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so here in this exam room, you'll be able to um, bathe the dogs if necessary. I think what I'll do in here on these two rooms, I think I'll make one of them like the dog room and one of them the cat room. Cause my vets kind of have that. They have like rooms that they always send the cats to and rooms that they always send the dogs to. So I'm thinking we'll have this one, I guess. I mean, it has a cat wallpaper in the bathroom, but it's the, this is like the dog room cause they have the bathroom to bathe the dog if necessary. And then the other one can be the cat room. Um, if it does that too? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, there are probably some certificates we can get for the wall too that we can add in. Um, they even have dog room and cat room signs. That's kind of cute actually that they have that. I like that. The cat room at my vet, um, they have in, in the room, there's kind of like a, let me see if I can find something similar to it. Honestly, the window is like kind of a circle, but it has a really big window ledge, right? And it's the equivalent of being like right here. So the cats can get on the counter and then sit in the window ledge in the cat room. <laughs> um, and it's it's got like a thick windowsill. It's like big, the windowsill. Um, and so there's a, a space there the cats can go into, <laughs> which is kind of cute. It's not necessarily completely on purpose, I don't think, but 
it is there and it's it's very accessible for the cats. <laughs> Um, my kittens have never gone up there, but Snap has gone up there before. So. <laughs> it's like, she's waiting for the doctor to come in so she can get examined. And she's like, I'm gonna go sit in this, like, uh, cranny in the wall, this nook. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. I'll be up here. <laughs> okay. Cute, I like that. Um, so we have that kind of centered for us. I don't really like that color. Should I make it blue? I guess we can try and have them all be slightly different color themes in here. I don't know. If you all place items onto a counter, are they still functional? Um, the counter will, will see, so the Sims, like they'll be able to use this computer and stuff and they can use this sink, but it won't be functional in like a cook on this counter sort of way. It'll be functional in a, your Sims can um, use that counter to use the stuff on it. Um, your cat hides under the exam table. Oh, it's so hard bringing little kitties to the vet. They get so scared. Um, a garden Bob, thank you for the subs, both of you, by the way. Um, yeah, if you like tried to alt place the laptop, it wouldn't be usable. That one has to slot there. So, I don't know if I realistically really need to have, ooh. Oh. I was gonna say, I don't know if I really have a strong desire to have, um, or if your sims really need to have access to a computer like they have in here, but they do have it if if they need it, so. A few chairs for pet owners. Oh, oh, chairs are actually a good idea for in the side of this. Something like, I'm trying to think what my vet has as like the chair in the room. They usually only have one chair in the room. But we could put like two chairs in the side. So the humans can sit there while their pets are being examined if necessary. Your vets are scared of your cat. She's that scary when you take her. Oh, I, that makes me feel so sad for the poor kitty. Um, your vet has a bench. Oh, two people have benches. Oh, interesting. We have one chair. Huh. Should I do a bench then? I wouldn't know what it, what kind of bench to pick. All I know, everybody else has benches. Oh, everybody else has a bench. Okay. Small wooden bench. Oh. I don't really think any of these look good though. You have chairs, you have chairs. Yours has nothing. Okay. I think I'm gonna do chairs. I think I'm gonna do chairs cause that's my personal experience. <laughs> Lula, bacon, thank you for the subs. I've not been to many vets. I've, my family's used the same vet like forever. So <laughs> I, have, I have that experience and that's it. Um. Okay, let's see. Cats and dogs. I want to get some more of the wall decor. Oh, these are so cute, actually. You know what we could put? Oh my goodness. Let's put like a little dog thing. And then like maybe a little cat thing. That one's not even a cat. This cat is quite small. But that way we can mark off that like, that's the cat room. Maybe I could scoot it over. Oh no, I don't know. That's fine. But there's a cat room and a dog room and there's signs. That's cute. It's not only cats and dogs. We've actually been using quite a few packs. I even have, look at this, this flooring, bowling pack. I know. You never saw it coming. <laughs> The bowling pack is a horrible one to be using for this, but we've been um, really going all out, I would say. Okay, 
Um, should I have like a little... Okay. Should it also go like to over there? I don't know. Yeah, I like the floors. Like, honest, I like the floors a lot. Even considering it is the bowling pack. That doesn't look good. I think they have to have just one set of the paw prints, I've decided. Yeah, this small room's gonna be a bathroom. Like, a human bathroom is the idea. So we'll get some human bathroom type stuff. Um... I feel like it's too curvy. Use the straight ones in small segments. Well, they're all curvy though, if we're gonna use it. At your vet, the paw prints are on the ceiling tiles. That's so cute. I love that. Um. Ooh. Oh, let's put this billboard on the side of the building. What, it won't raise up. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong thing. Because you can put anything in that billboard. That's cool though, because then you see it and you're like, oh, there's an advertisement for the vet. Should I put it on both sides or is that too much? It might be too much, but the idea is that it's like an advertisement though. So maybe it's okay. I don't know. Um, little dog anatomy. I'm not sure. Okay. Both sides make sense? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Um... I probably have, like... Most of the posters I would want. I guess because I've used these posters in the other rooms. Maybe we could put some... Cute other little vet posters in the hallway. I'll keep the blue. Those are all right. Is there a litter box for the cats? Yeah, I'm gonna put it inside the cat room. Cause this room is the dog room. This one's gonna be for the cats. All right. Add a pet themed calendar. Oh, that'll be good. I wanna get one of those like adopt posters too. And a sink. Are there pet toys in the rooms? Um, there's no pet toys in my vet's office room. I don't know about yours. Um, my cats would n by no, no shot, no shot would my cats play with a toy while they're at the vet. Like, there's absolutely not a chance in the world that they'd be playing while at the vet. <laughs> My cats are so nervous. <laughs> they would not play. <laughs> um, they, they get a little bit scared. It's very normal, but um, they would be way too scared to play, I think. All right, this will be the cat room. Your cat's pretty confident. They would play at the vet. That's actually really nice. Like, genuinely, I'm, I'm glad that your cat would be confident enough to do that. That's like... Quite a relief, actually. Um, okay. Yeah, I put this cork board here. I, I like the idea of pretending that it has, like, adoption ads. I think that's a nice story to tell. Okay. Why is the kitty sad and the dog happy? Here, this is also an adoption ad. Um, I don't really want to use the sad kitty. It is cute, but that's not my vision. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll get these two smaller. Hang in there, little one. Is that okay? That is a lot of posters on this back wall. <laughs> that is a lot of posters. Maybe I could put these on this wall instead. 
You always put the big food bags and pretend your sims can buy them for their pets. That's smart though, I like that. That reminds me, my vet, I got an email today. So my vet has a rewards program. It's something like for every, you, I, before it was like, I forget the exact number. It was something crazy, like every $1,600 you spend, you get $100 off. Um, but they changed it today so that now it includes prescriptions that you buy. Um, so the prescription uh, food that I buy for SNAP counts in the rewards program. It didn't before. And um, you can buy things like coupons with your rewards points um, and like get free nail trims and stuff, which I'm not too worried about because I trim their nails usually. But um, anyway, it's uh, I was I'm trying to open the app, but it's not working. But anyway, I was kind of excited about that. Specifically because of the food, because I buy extremely expensive prescription cat food for my cat from the vet. <laughs> so, um, I was pretty pleased to hear that being included in the rewards program. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty nice. I'm glad to hear that. Um, that's, that's really good. Um, yeah, it's really expensive buying prescription food. Um, but she has kidney disease, so... No, my kittens don't eat the same food. Um, Snap has a prescription kidney disease food and the kittens have kitten food right now because they're only babies. Um, and I wouldn't I wouldn't feed the kittens uh, Snap's pres prescription food. So <laughs> it's really expensive. <laughs> we can't be giving that to three cats. It's too much. <laughs> Not a good idea. Snap's food is like, it's like $57 for um, 24 cans. But sometimes it's on sale on the vet's website or they give coupon codes, I guess, for like 15% off. So I usually will buy it, uh, buy extra then. Um, but it's kind of expensive. <laughs> um, and she only eats it because she doesn't eat dry food at all anymore because she won't eat the prescription dry food because she doesn't like it. So she, um, she's a very fancy and expensive cat. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's $80 for yours? Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Your cat hates wet food. Oh, really? That's interesting. It's funny how cats can be so picky. Um, yeah, Snap, she really likes her, her prescription food, which is good. I'd rather that than her be like scared to eat it. Um, but your old lady cat will devour the kitten food. Yeah, I have to go to great lengths to keep Snap away from the kitten food. Should we do something fun like this? With these tiles as a combo? I kind of like it. Should we do that? I think we should. I might give them a small window. Snap is a celebrity with the refined palette quirk. There you go. That's her. <laughs> I'm lost. Whoa, that was scary. Your cat tries to eat your food? That's so interesting to me because my cats do not care about human food at all. They're like completely uninterested in human food. Um, they've never... When Shrimp and Sunny were very small, the new kittens, um, and they were like first, like the first couple days that they were around me when I was eating, they were like trying to sniff it a bunch. Um, but it was like only that day and they never tried to eat it. They were just like really intrigued by the smell of this stuff. Cause it was like their first time really smelling human food. Cause when they were very small, I had them like with, with, when their mom was still feeding them and stuff they're, when they were still nursing, I had all the kittens um, and their mom like closed in a room um, to keep them safe and like to keep them away from snap and stuff at first. Um, so they like, I didn't eat in front of them for, you know, a while, because I found them when they were like five weeks old, so. And they're, they were with their mom until they were like 13 weeks old. Um, but I also don't eat meat, that's true. <laughs> that's, I mean, yeah, that probably, I would argue that probably does contribute to their lack of interest in, um, in the food that I eat. Because <laughs> I'm not eating stuff that is interesting to them. <laughs> it's like, do they want my roasted vegetables? No, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Calypso thanks for the sub. They're probably not interested in that. I mean, some cats try and sniff food though. Some cats are more food oriented than, than others. Um, 
Okay, let's go back. I didn't finish these rooms. I'm distracted. The cat tries to eat your ice cream. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I, I like wouldn't be surprised about the cat trying to get into. That makes sense. Um, my friend's cat apparently gets really excited about butter and tries to get into things when there's butter involved. And that I think is kind of funny too. I guess that also makes sense though. Similar vibes, the dairy. I wouldn't feed it to them. <laughs> I'm not surprised that they're interested. <laughs> okay. Nice. Your cat loves cheese. Oh, my parents' dogs, they have a cheese problem. Like to the point where, cause my mom keeps the, like most of the cheese in like one of the drawers in her fridge. I guess all the cheese, I've not been there in a while. But my mom keeps like the cheese in this drawer in her fridge. If the dogs hear the drawer open in the fridge, they come running. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> But they know as soon as they hear the drawer open, they're, they are ready and, and waiting. And it's like, you're not going to give it to them. It's not for you right now. Sometimes they get some. But they hear it and they, they want to be involved. Um, your sister's dog is like that too. You can't open the cheese drawer. That's so funny. Cheese tags. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna get this one. I am probably gonna have to redo these windows, which is kind of annoying. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. If we can get it there and then just raise it up. Oh, it's a little small for the window, but that's okay. Your dog is like that with ice cubes? I've heard of dogs being like that with ice cubes. That's so interesting. Doesn't ice feel like a weird thing for them to be so, like... Yours too with ice cubes? Okay, so similar to the cheese drawer thing, um, but not. <laughs> My cats, specifically shrimp, I've never given this cat a hair tie. I'm scared of him playing with a hair tie because I'm worried that he's gonna like choke on it. So he's not allowed to have hair ties, right? But he is obsessed. He found one of my scrunchies one time. Do I have one in here? No. Like a big scrunchie though, not the kind of thing you can swallow, thank God. But he, I like had it on my counter because I had taken my hair out in the bathroom or whatever, and I set it on the counter. The cat, he comes running. He grabs the scrunchie and he runs away, okay? And ever since that day, he's realized I want the scrunchies so bad. So every time I go into the bathroom, every time without fail, he follows me. If he hears like the shower turn on, this cat comes running. And I'm not kidding. He comes running and he jumps onto the counter and he sits on top of where the drawer is with the scrunchies in it. Cause he wants me to open it so he can get a scrunchie out so bad. And I don't want to give it to him. You have a million toys. You cannot have a scrunchie. But every time I go in the bathroom, he comes with me so we can try and get a scrunchie without fail every single time. He also, I think the kittens both also just like the shower. Um, they like want to watch the shower because they're so curious about it, but they're scared of the water. And then as soon as I turn the shower off, they'll jump in and like walk around and then get wet and be like, oh my God, my paws are wet. But they won't go in when it's on. They go in when it's off um, and then like try and look around a little bit. <laughs> so <laughs> they like watching the shower. They get excited about it. Cats are just so funny, aren't they? So weird. Um, maybe I scoot this over just a bit. Gives me a little bit more space for my clock, too. Should get him a small water fountain? Oh, they have- I have two little cat water fountains. Um, they have water fountains, my cats. It's not that they want to drink out of the water or even play in it. They do drink out of their water fountains. They just are interested in the idea of the shower. Um, but they- they're from a sewer, so I think that's part of it. It's just, like, in their blood, you know? They yearn for the sewer, so they they want to be in the shower. <laughs> it reminds them of it. <laughs> exit sign over the door you can't leave the building through? Oh, it's supposed to be telling you where to go to get to the exit. It's not meant to be... I mean, I can put it over just one of them, but I was just... I was meant to be telling them where to go to get to the exit, but we can put it over just one of the doors. Yeah, they're probably... I think they're probably also, like worried about about me in the shower and like wondering if I can escape um <laughs> it's 
if I'm like gonna be safe in the shower. They're like, they gotta watch to make sure I'm fine. And then they have to like rub up against you after you get out of the shower because you smell stinky like soap and that's messed up. So they have to, they have to come help you to fix you so you don't smell stinky like soap anymore. So. Oh, really? Kind of, that's so cool. I'm so happy for you. That's awesome. Why would you smell like soap and not like cat? That's disgusting. <laughs> Your dog will lick you after you shower because you stink too? Yeah, isn't that so funny? They're so weird. Your cat stands guard outside of the bathroom every time you use it. Oh, my kittens? Snap doesn't do this. Snap is like, I think that she's just used to it and like, I don't know, a grown up. So <laughs> she's not as worried. Whereas the kittens are, they're fresh. So they, they get nervous a lot about a lot of things like this, but they'll, whenever I, I'm in the bathroom and I close the door, um, I think they get upset for like two reasons. They get upset the door is closed and they're not in, but they also like, they know you're using the bathroom and they want to stand guard. And they're like, well, what are you doing closing the door? I have to help you. So they'll stand outside of the door and yell. Then you have to let them in. And then they just look at you and then walk away. It's like, they're mad the door is closed. So they have to come yell at you to open it and then be like, oh, I don't care anymore actually. And then leave. <sighs> just ridiculous. Your cat will come in the bathroom and want to get out immediately. Yeah, exactly. They come and beg to get in the bathroom and then ask to leave. You have to decide what you want. <laughs> if you're going to do this, you have to make a decision. <laughs> um, that's from Strangerville. It's kind of giving office a little bit. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, I think this one's better actually for this purpose. Your cat wants all doors open all the time. She wants options. Yeah, I think that's a big part of it for them too, is they just don't want any doors to be closed ever. They need to be around. You can't like close them out of things. They're gonna be like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> what if I wanted to go in there? <laughs> what if I needed that? <laughs> Patty, Molly, Empress, thanks for the subs. Your sits on your lap while you use the restroom. Oh my God, that cats are so needy sometimes. That is wild that they do that. Mine don't do that. Oh, it's giving not so very challenge. I don't really want to use that one though. I think I want to have some sort of bookshelf or like some sort of storage in here. Cause I feel like I just feel like it would be useful. They already have, I mean, there's drawers there. We could get more filing cabinets. What else do you need? You already have these. You can craft the stuff there. What about a fish tank? Oh, we talked about putting a fish tank over here, didn't we? Ma, thank you for the sub. Okay, we can put a fish tank. Maybe I could put it just in the staff room. Okay. I also want to get some like certificates and various things. We could probably get a cat calendar in here, but I'm, I'm mostly thinking that I want to have like, um, credentials, I guess, almost. I wasn't really picturing these because there's a, I mean, there's a few variants. I guess we could use these, but we, I want to have credentials for the people. Oh, you know what else I was going to do is I wanted to put a litter box. Fake kennels. Oh, I don't know how to... This is the thing, okay? I don't know how to do that in The Sims and have it not be weird. Like, I don't know what to build it with. We did kind of talk about that a little bit, but... So... First thought right now is that, okay, there's those debug, the like actual kennels. Uh oh, sorry for yawning everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have these pet carriers. These are debug pet carriers. Oh, you can't move them though. 
the thing is if you put these debug things in, you can't like move or delete them. But we could put some pet carriers in. People are also saying to use like the metal fence, um, but that, I feel like that makes me feel sad. This is the second time we're gonna have what people are gonna deem to be a prison in one of my builds, and that's not what I'm doing. Second time this week <laughs> that we've had something like this and people were gonna be like, wait, is that a prison? No, it's not. It's just not. Should there be like different wallpaper? I mean, I guess I don't really know what, how I would recreate this sort of thing in the game. We can try and make one that looks like it's for a cat and one that looks like it's for a dog. And we can try and make it look intentional. And we can also try to make it look cozy, which it doesn't right now, but I will. I will make it look cozy, don't worry. The plastic get to work walls. Oh, that might be okay too, okay. The clinical panels, perhaps. Okay. Windows for glass walls instead like those fancy pet hotels. That probably is better. I don't really know. Not looks even more jail-like. No, 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 it's not, it's not though. It's not, it's not. I'm gonna make, look, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm gonna make it look so cute in here. Look at how cute that is. Cute and not concerning. Cute and not concerning. Okay. Where do they eat? Well, we'll put stuff in there for them too. Somebody said to put turf in and that's actually kind of an interesting idea for the dog one. I don't know, that might be nice. And then we could do carpet for the cat maybe, cause they, cats like carpet. Okay, do you still play house slipper? We're gonna play house slipper two tomorrow. Um, the plan is tomorrow to play house slipper two. So, you are in luck. Um, we will be doing so. Okay, let's get a big dog bed. Can you downsize the cat tree? No, you can't size it down, because if you size the cat tree down, it, um, it doesn't work right, because there's like animations to it, right? Because the cats will jump up there. So. And maybe, like, imagine this for a second, you guys, right? Maybe some of the pets that are in here are available for adoption. No, the cat doesn't not get food. I just haven't put it down yet. <laughs> no need to panic. I'm still putting it. I'm still getting their stuff. I'm trying to figure out where to put it because the problem is cats don't like their food to be, like, close to their litter. Um... I guess it has to be out so the sims can access it still, but... Um, yeah, or for when they like wake up after surgery or whatever, you would keep them in there. That's kind of like the main purpose of this, is if the pets are being boarded for whatever reason. Is there a smaller cat tree? Yeah, but I like the big one. Also, the cat would probably be able to climb this fence, but it goes to the ceiling, so it's fine. You guys are really sad. Why don't you want to have a big cat tree? Why do you want the cats to suffer? The smaller ones are way uglier. I like the big one. The cats deserve it. Should I give anything for the dogs in their room? Maybe the dogs could have like leash storage too. Just so there's something else on the wall. I don't 
don't know about this fence situation. I don't really know what to use instead. Some people were saying to do glass and I personally don't really know if I want to do that. It would be, just in general, probably should have a wall in between them because it's going to be less distressing for the animals, but I don't really like how the glass looks. Oh, we should put toys in there too. Um, come here. Put that on that wall. I need to get from the greenhouse kit. The greenhouse kit has nice solid windows for us to use. That's better. It does look better. It takes up more space though. I guess I can scoot the dog bed back a little bit. The mesh swatch? Oh, you think it should be the mesh swatch? Oh, maybe it's all right in the mesh swatch, the screened one. I actually like that. And then it's breathable. That's okay. That's pretty nice. I think that's good. I'll put a couple of little toys for them in the rooms. You can have a little mouse toy for the cat. And whatever that pink bird is. Okay. I don't know if I like these paneled walls anymore, but I don't know what to swap them to. We could just do like a couple cute colors and have a different color for each. Can dogs eat with a large bed there? No, I don't think that they can use the food bowls. Well, also the bed is flat, so they might be able to, but I'm less worried about, you're not gonna actually lock any pets in here. Um, and there's like food bowls out here too. So functionally, um, it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. Um, oh, we should put some of the decals in too to make them, that's a good idea. I saw someone talking about the, um, the kennel from Debug and that's what we had originally instead of these. <laughs> so you're on the same page as us. We might put one back somewhere, but I don't really know where. Yet cats and dogs. Okay. I'm gonna put a couple little kitty things up and around on there. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? With them sort of sitting on the cat tree. <laughs> um, and maybe I could put a couple of dogs. I like the idea of them being kind of like in a row down here. You can't layer them though. The game's not smart enough for that. That's cute. That is cute. Okay. Now it's really obvious whose is whose. We could put the cloud decals, I guess, too, in the dog one, because they have nothing on the wall. So it might be nice to have something else. Okay. Oh, I think that's actually really fun. <laughs> I actually really like that. Okay, we do need to probably get rid of the fish tank though, if we want to have, um, cause we wanted to have like an office for the employees back here a little bit. And we also wanted to have, um, oh, paw prints on the wall. That's a good idea too. I'm getting so distracted. We also wanted to have like, uh, maybe we could do paw prints like, it, how about we do paw prints instead of the clouds? We use it almost like a fake molding. Those look a little bit weird in the corners, I'll say that, but that might be okay. I think it looks kind of cool down here. Okay, anyway, then what I wanted to do was put in the center of this a table just a small table and then like some chairs for the staff to be able to sit in 
This is a break room. <gasps> the game's gonna crash. This happened earlier. I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start crying. Oh no. Oh, it didn't crash. Okay. It did that and did crash earlier. <sighs> Sorry, I exaggerated. It wasn't gonna cry for real. <laughs> I did get scared though. <laughs> Fat thanks for the five months. Same thing happened earlier and it did actually crash and it crashed like basically immediately. <sighs> um, okay, cool. Should we have a fridge for our staff in here? I think probably. I'm thinking like fridge and microwave sort of situation for like easy quick meal type of cooking. And then they have a vending machine too, if you need that. Um, you think a mini fridge? I don't know. I'm sort of imagining a lot of people working here. So I, I want to have a big one. So they have a lot of space for everybody's stuff. Should I put like a kettle maybe? I don't know. That might be good. Kettles take up such a strange amount of space. Fridge for the cabinet set. I don't know if I want it to blend in. I can't imagine a world where the vet's office has like that fancy of a fridge where it's like built into the cabinetry. Well, you can make coffee in the kettle. So that's why I put the kettle, is because your sims can make coffee in there. Um, Americans are, we, we are really big coffee maker, coffee pot people. Everywhere else has kettles and they make all their hot drinks in the kettle. Um, so the kettle does all the things. Instead of only coffee, <laughs> which is maybe a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, I wish The Sims had a built-in to the cabinet microwave too. That would be really good. It's a shame that we don't have- it's actually like kind of weird that we don't have that, I would argue. Because in real life, having a microwave built into the cabinet is like so normal, you know? But we just do not have that anywhere. Um, anyway, there's like instant coffee packets there for them to use. How about that? They, they use instant coffee. Most of the people that I know in England, they heat up water in the kettle and then they have like instant coffee packets that you mix with the hot water. Um, or like drip coffee, presumably. Um, what's instant coffee? It's like coffee mix. The Americans can't fathom this. But then, but then we'll turn around and like heat up water in the microwave and the Europeans are like, what's wrong with you? That's terrifying. So everybody has, um, you know, different, different opinions on this and different, like, hot chocolate. Yeah, I mean, it works kind of similar to those hot chocolate mixes. Um, yeah. Um, is their instant coffee better than ours? I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Everyone here has a sort of negative opinion of instant coffee. Um, but I don't have a lot of, like, personal frame of reference for this as, like, a non-coffee drinker. Um, but all the British people I know drink instant coffee. I don't know a single British person who has a coffee maker. Whereas, like, I don't have a coffee maker because I don't drink coffee, but, like, all of my friends, my parents, everybody has a coffee maker and they all make coffee at home here. Like, but, like, actual coffee. Like, they, like, brew it at home with the coffee maker. Um, but I feel like people in America often have a kind of negative opinion of instant coffee. Um, at least from what I hear as a person who doesn't drink coffee, so don't take my word for it. <laughs> um, but instant coffee is for camping in the US. Maybe, I think a lot of people in America probably do drink instant coffee. It just might not be as common as it is in some other places. Um, okay, I think a bookshelf is probably good for this actually. Um, you just got an electric kettle, but you never, you never drink tea, only coffee. Oh, really? We have an electric kettle. Um, but also I'm married to a British person. He uses it a lot more than I do. No one's surprised by that. <laughs> he uses the, um, the kettle a lot more often than I do. Um, People in the UK see instant coffee as easy and okay-ish, but more people are starting to get coffee makers. That makes sense. That makes sense. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about like the general per perception of instant coffee. I literally don't know anything about coffee. Like I just don't drink it. I don't go out to coffee places. Like, I just don't do that. So <laughs> I don't have a lot of, um, I don't have a lot of opinions personally <laughs> about it. Um, coffee makers are expensive. I don't know. I think the equivalent is that a lot of these people, they like, they have a, a cheap-ish coffee maker in the same way that you might have a cheap-ish kettle. You know, it's just like a, the equivalent. I don't know how much coffee makers cost though. Never bought one. Couldn't even guess. There's probably a wide variety of, of pricing, but um, I don't, I've never bought one. So <laughs> got your Keurig for $30. Really a Keurig for $30? That's pretty good. I thought Keurigs were expensive. I guess you could probably get used ones pretty easily, huh? But no one's buying like a fancy one. The mini Keurigs, yeah, that's true. Your coffee pot was $20? Yeah, I'm like picturing, my parents have a coffee pot and they wouldn't have an expensive one. Like they probably like, oh yeah, I'm seeing them online for like $35. That's probably the kind of thing that my parents have. I'll show you the picture of this one. This one's called Mr. Coffee. <laughs> Oops. Mr. Oh, sorry. Mr. Coffee. <laughs> I just closed and opened that like three times for you. Um, this kind of thing. I don't know. This one's on sale for $34.99. So that's what I'm picturing. Mr. Coffee is a classic brand. Is it? Oh, I didn't know that. See, I don't know anything about coffee. <laughs> I don't know anything about coffee at all. That is not, not my area of expertise for sure. Um, okay. I'm thinking maybe I could get the little icon. You love Mr. Coffee? Oh, he must be really popular, Mr. Coffee. Everybody's saying a lot of good things about him. Who knew? You have a Mr. Coffee mug warmer on your desk? Ooh. I got a mug warmer. So, <laughs> here's a funny story. Um, I, you know how I'm a Twitch ambassador. Basically, I just, I don't really know what it means either. But Twitch is like, you wanna be an ambassador? And you're like, yeah, sure. And then sometimes, um, they might ask you for a survey about Twitch things. It's kind of what happens. And then I have a special badge in my Twitch chat. And they talk about how you represent the brand well, whatever. They don't really do anything with it. I don't know. Anyway, when they asked me to be a Twitch ambassador, um, like the years prior to when I got it in 2020, they flew all those people that were ambassadors. They, they paid for their flights to TwitchCon and then like gave them a TwitchCon ticket and like put them up at TwitchCon as like their ambassador gift, like just for the first year, they paid for their flights to TwitchCon. Um, <laughs> and then I got ambassador and it was COVID obviously, so they never flew anyone out to TwitchCon. So I got a gift box of a bunch of random stuff. I I got a, um, a Twitch like onesie thing. I got a Nintendo Switch that I gave to my sister. I got an Apple TV and an Amazon Fire Stick, those little plug-in things. And I got a mug warmer, <laughs> which was really interesting. <laughs> uh, but they gave me a bunch of that stuff. And I like gave the fire stick to my friend who had just moved because she needed one. So it actually worked out pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> it was a, um, oh, maybe it was an ember mug. It wasn't a mug warmer. It was a mug that warms. It was an ember mug. Yeah. Similar thing though. I don't use it because I don't drink tea or anything. Dan uses it. So I don't know what it's called, but Dan has that. It's like electric in you. Yeah, for like tea, it keeps it warm. So, and they're kind of expensive. So it's it was a nice gift. It just, it felt like kind of like when I opened the box, I didn't know what to expect. And it was like a random collection of like kind of expensive electronics. Like you, you just don't expect that, you know? <laughs> I, the people the year after us, they got given iPads. What the heck? <laughs> um, and bird mugs are not in the same category as my $10 Mr. Coffee mug warmer. Okay, I didn't know he was $10. I thought it was expensive when you said mug warmer, Christine. I never bought one of those. I don't know how much they cost. I just assumed it was really pricey. Um, but yeah, it was cool that they did that. I, I thought that was pretty nice of them. I mean, again, they, they would have paid for like flights and hotels. 
so they're trying to like make an equivalent i guess um but it was kind of nice that they you they gave you like a bunch of these gifts like they didn't have to do that gluon got got um like sent to twitchcon maya they started doing it again now that twitchcon is back on it was just during the years where there was no twitchcon so um, it wasn't like a TV TV, in case that wasn't clear. It was like the Apple TV, the little box that you plug into your TV, and then you can use the Apple TV, like, stuff. Just like how the Fire Stick and the, like, the, um, the Roku stuff works. It's like you turn your TV into a smart TV. Not like a literal TV. <laughs> no, it's, uh, one of the, the thingies. It has, like, a remote and stuff. Um, one of those. But they gave you an Apple, they gave us an Apple TV and a Fire Stick, and those, I wouldn't use both. So I gave them away to my friends, but... Um, not an actual literal TV. <laughs> um, no, that would be wild. You get a TV sent to your house with no warning. <laughs> Most people don't know about that. It is expensive still, um, the Apple TV stuff, but you'd rather have the box than go to TwitchCon? <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people would. Um, it is cool. It is really cool to have the opportunity to get, like, sent somewhere like to get your like travel paid for to go to a convention especially for like a twitch streamer um because like keep in mind a lot of these people they have been like streaming on twitch for years and years and years and and like a lot of these people that stream on twitch they like dream of getting the opportunity to go to twitchcon um because they want a chance to like see their friends and 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 see the event and and like do all of that stuff so twitchcon is like a pretty big, really cool deal for a lot of streamers. Not everybody, but it's a really cool opportunity to get, um, to do something like that. Because a lot of them have been, like, dreaming of that forever, so. No, I'm still in Ambassador Alley, but I'm not, like, the 2023 or 2024 Ambassador. I'm, like, an old one. <laughs> um, people ask what it is. I don't really have an answer for you. They, I don't know. They sometimes, like, send people things, like, they sent not, they're, like, like, sometimes if there's gonna be, like, a Twitch blog post posted, they'll post it for the ambassadors, like, the day before. There's been a couple times where they've had, like, roundtable feedback sessions, um, with, like, Twitch people after they post a dumb blog post, and everybody's like, whoa, whoa, you can't do that, Twitch. Sometimes they'll have, like, meetings with some ambassadors to talk to the Twitch execs about it, but I'm always streaming when that happens, so I, I've never been to one of them. Um... Cause I'm always like, I'm not going to like cancel my stream to talk to them about it. Someone else can do it. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> it's not really <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. I think we've gotten somewhere with this. Do you guys like this? Do you think it's okay? Um, I, Christine, I don't, I think that they did announce it, but like slightly, I think that, um, the new Twitch CEO, he's been streaming a lot and talking a lot on Twitch, just in general about stuff. And he, I think that, I think it's public knowledge confirmed and not just an assumption that they've signed a multi-year contract to have TwitchCon in San Diego again for like the next multiple years. Um, but they haven't announced the TwitchCon Europe yet. So, um, Shy, thank you for the 22 month resub, by the way. And Winnie, Winnie, Freddy and Quirky and Lucky, thank you for the subs too. Uh, but yeah, they haven't, um, they haven't done the dates or anything. Um, do you think you could go, Christine? Oh, <laughs> they need to give us the dates soon. I want to know. Um, but yeah, it'll be in, I think it'll be in San Diego again instead of in Vegas. Um, and I think that San Diego is better for, um, TwitchCon. So I'll have a second built-in fridge, by the way. Oh, do you mean this? This is a dishwasher. Um... You heard San Diego TwitchCon is mid, did you? I, so in my opinion, haven't been to a few TwitchCons. I went to TwitchCon in Long Beach. I went in San Jose. I've been to San Diego, San Diego again. <laughs> and I've been to TwitchCon in Vegas. I think San Diego is the best one. Um, I think that the TwitchCon Vegas was interesting and it was cool because there was a lot to do, but the Las Vegas Strip is like really kind of hard to get around. Um, because it's so big, you think it's like a, just the strip, but it's actually like many miles long. And the hotels are like, you have no idea how big they are unless you're there. And also when they did the TwitchCon a couple months ago, it was right before the F1 race. So it was under a ridiculous amount of construction. So you basically could not take a car anywhere. And they have a train, but it doesn't stop that much. And like, even when it does stop, you guys, the hotels are the size of a convention center 
each. So it's not like a short walk between the hotels. Like you think, oh, walk, it's the hotel next door. It'll be easy to get there. No, <laughs> they're far apart. They're huge. <laughs> Even like walking inside the hotel, it's so big. Like you can't really fathom it unless you've been there. Cause I, I knew it was gonna be big, but it's way, it's just big. So it's not as easy to get around as some other places are. Um, um, it's a little bit easier to get around in San Diego than in Las Vegas. Vegas is wild. Um, anyway, yeah, I watched, uh, Sophia Nygaard, Nygaard made a video where she stayed in all of the hotels in the Vegas Strip, and it's like so long, this video, and you really can get an idea for the scale from seeing that. Um, but yeah, in Las Vegas, it's so not walkable. It's just so not walkable. Um, and that's not pleasant. It was two videos, it was so long, yeah. Um, and it's also like a million degrees outside, but that's not really the reason it's not walkable. It's just not really walkable. <laughs> um, anyway. Did your in-laws used to live in Vegas, really? Yeah, I don't think I liked it very much in Vegas. Um, I don't know, it was interesting to see, but I wouldn't like to go there again, I don't think. I'm gonna try and do some more little details outside. Um, That would be cool to see if they did that. That would be cool. I don't know if they would do like the TwitchCon US outside of like actual US and do it like in a different place in North America. I would be kind of surprised if they did that. I think that they really like it being in the US just for ease of like their staff, you know? That's why I think they want it to be on like the West Coast as well. It's just for ease of their staff, it's closer for them. Um. There's not a TwitchCon in England, no. They've done um, TwitchCon EU a couple times. It was in Berlin, it was uh, in Amsterdam, and then uh, canceled because of COVID <laughs> in Amsterdam. And then it was in Paris. Um, so those are the three places they've done TwitchCon in EU. I think they're gonna probably try and like move it around a little bit. I don't know what their plan is for this year. Who knows if they'll even do a TwitchCon in the EU this year. I guess we'll see. Um, but, um, yeah, these kind of conventions are always on the West Coast. It's always on the West Coast. I agree. I also wish that it wasn't on the West Coast. <laughs> like when all this stuff happens in like Los Angeles, that is a long flight for me. It's like five and a half hours from where I live to Orlando, in Orlando to Los Angeles. Like the, I, I'm on the opposite side, <laughs> you know? Um, so it's not like a quick, <laughs> quick flight. The US is pretty big, so. The West Coast has space though. I don't know. I mean, there's, they have some nice convention centers there, but there's nice convention centers everywhere. Um, you think West Coast, best coast? No, 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 no. Six hour flight from New England to Los Angeles. Yeah, I mean, it's like complete opposite corners, huh? Yeah, that's like when I have to go to San Francisco, which I used to have to do more because the Sims team would let me go to their studios, but not anymore because of COVID. Um, but that was like six hours as well. <laughs> Big flight to go out there. Um, anyway, I think that they, I, I think that um, Dan Clancy, who again is the Twitch CEO, I think that he's talked a little bit about like on his stream, maybe I'm misremembering this, but I swear I heard people saying this. I think he was talking about like a New York TwitchCon as a concept on his stream. Um, but the idea, the issue I guess is is that um, A, it's I, I guess like similar with the spread outness of like Vegas where it's so big. Um, but also they, they like going to San Diego because when they go to San Diego, it's like Twitch, takes over San Diego. It's like, like, because it's, you know, not as big and not as spread out and there isn't as much going on. Twitch kind of comes there and it's like all Twitch all weekend. Everybody, everybody in the, is Twitch, it seems like. They like really take over, but you can't really do that as well in big cities. Um, I personally think that logistically going to New York would be a nightmare and I hope they don't do that, but <laughs> who knows? <laughs> um, San Diego is a big city. It is a big city, but it's not like New York big. It's just not the same. I've been there. When you were there for the for TwitchCon, people like all kind of stay right next to the convention center. And it literally feels like you everywhere you go, you're in the CVS. Everybody in there's wearing a Twitch shirt. 
You go to the restaurant, everybody in there is in a Twitch shirt. It's like, it's, it literally almost feels like there's nobody else there but Twitch people. I, like, that's, that's how it feels because there's like, you know, is it, I forget how many attendees they are, have. Tens of thousands of people are all Twitch taking over the weekend. And it's not only the same thing in Vegas, like people, Vegas has so many more visitors that aren't related, you know? Um, so anyway, I think that's, that's what they were talking about, but, um, I kind of can see what they mean, but I don't think it matters that much. Um, yeah, it's like the downtown part of San Diego is a little bit small. It's spread out, but, um, I don't know. Should do a con in London. I would personally, selfishly, really like it if they did it in London because that, I mean, that's a good excuse to like obviously go and visit Dan's family. Um, <laughs> stay at Dan's family's house for free for a lot of it. Probably not the days of the convention, but like before and after, you know? <laughs> um, so I selfishly would really like if they did it in London. I, I would feel very comfortable if they did it in London. I know my way around. <laughs> so <laughs> nice, easy location for me. <laughs> Maybe not for them, <laughs> but I would like it. <laughs> I think London would be a great place for it, personally. Um, okay. Okay, how are we doing at night? How's it look in the dark? A little better. A couple more things I wanted to get. I wanted to get some of the catnip. Um, I have to look and see, hold on. They would have, I, I remember, we have a TwitchCon channel in our Discord server, my our Among Us friends. I think we pinned when they announced, they announced TwitchCon last year on February 16th. And it was in, it was the 8th to 9th of July in Paris and the 20th to 22nd of October in Vegas. That's a really quick turnaround for, um, for the Paris ones, but they announced it in February last year. So we still have to maybe wait a little bit. I don't know if they'll do it at the same time again, but that is when they announced it last time. So. Um, I personally think everything should happen in Seattle at all times, so I never travel at all. <laughs> See, okay, I agree. I actually think that Orlando is a wonderful place to host a convention like this. I have no reasoning behind that. We do have a nice convention center. I don't know if it would be a smart idea to bring any business to Florida right now, but personally, personally, Orlando, Florida, for no reason, other than my personal opinions, <laughs> would be a great place to host a convention. <laughs> I am not even remotely biased when I say that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think they should do that. I don't think that like coming to Florida and um, getting involved with Florida and you know spending a lot of money in Florida is a good idea right now, given the state of our government and stuff. I wouldn't really encourage them to do that. Um, but if they came here, I wouldn't have to travel. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> if they came here, it would be really easy for me. <laughs> so. <sighs> okay. Oops, yikes, almost lagged a little bit. I like these little rock things, I think. The Sims post a roadmap yet? Oh, I don't, they haven't. It's only the second day. They they are um, only back at work today, probably. Um, and some of them might even still be off today. But like yesterday was obviously a holiday, so they weren't in work yesterday. Um, and they, they wouldn't post a roadmap, probably not. At least I wouldn't if I were them the day they got back. And may, maybe like next week. You usually need a little bit more time for this sort of stuff to get it prepared, you know? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't get your hopes up though. It's just back from the break. They've not been in the office, so they wouldn't do it straight away. What's the roadmap? Oh, the Sims team sometimes posts like a, a list of the content coming in the next couple of months and they call it a roadmap and it'll be, it's usually for the quarter. Um, you know, they operate quarterly like all these big businesses do. Um, and it usually has like all of the big new stuff that's coming in the next quarter. So they might be like one new kit, one new expansion pack, one exciting new base game update. And they'll just list that. And then there's usually like some, 
sometimes like random little Easter eggy looking icons around the background. Um, but they haven't posted one recently. They're probably due for one soon, but again, just back from the holiday. So um, they're ki it's kind of like a little teaser for the season and what to expect. Um, so we always like talk about it and kind of break down all the ideas and stuff once they announce it and then we know what to expect. I'm guessing on this roadmap, because we just got an expansion pack, my su I, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't anything big. This roadmap might be small, like, like two new kits, <laughs> one base game update, like it might be a small thing, nothing too exciting. We know there's kits coming because it was the fan voted ones, so we already know about those. Um, you hope no kits? Oh, we already know what they are, too. <laughs> the kits are going to be a, um, it's gonna be the, the goth fashion kit and the medieval castle build kit. Um, I would like to see a game pack. That's like my big fingers crossed. I want to see a game pack, but who knows what to expect. Um, wishfully thinking for a stuff pack. I would love to see a stuff pack. If they made stuff packs more often again, like they used to, I would be so happy. I just don't really know what to expect with that release schedule because it's so new. Like everything's kind of changing again now. So I'm, I don't really know what they're gonna do. You hope the goth kit is good? I think it will be. I mean, their, um, their build kits are usually pretty decent. Or they're, sorry, that's a cast kit. Their cast kits are usually pretty decent. I don't think the kits are, I I don't really feel like I ever find the content of the kits to be bad. It's more like the, the concept of kits in general that I usually find a little disappointing. Um, so, difference between a kit and a stuff pack? Well, so the kits are very, focus. All of the packs kind of like go up in a sliding scale of less and less niche. Like the concept gets broader and broader and broader the, the bigger the pack. So kits are like the nichest pack with the like most simple tiny concept and expansion packs have like more big wider ideas around them and like the kind of content that comes in them. And then same thing with the size. The kits are the smallest pack. They're usually only clothes or only some furniture. Whereas stuff packs um, usually is centered around one new gameplay feature. Like most recent one was the Home Chef Hustle Kit pack, sorry, stuff pack. And the gameplay feature was like selling your home like cooked meals, like running a food stall, running a food stand. Um, and so the, the other gameplay was like the, the new pizza oven and the waffle maker and the stand mixer. And then all of the items is like kitchen furniture and the clothing is all like chef outfits. Um, and so it's like stuff to help you do that gameplay idea. The stuff packs have gameplay and they're all around one gameplay idea. That's the main concept. Whereas the kits are just cosmetic stuff, build stuff, cast stuff. Um, anyway, so I don't really, the reason that I always feel kind of like iffy on the kits, I don't ever think the kits are bad. I always think the kits have nice stuff. It might not be my style, but it's probably somebody's style. You know, it's more just like, I wish that they were cheaper. It's, it's kind of frustrating to me to have these kits that are $5 and then a stuff pack be $10, but the stuff pack has three times as much stuff. So if the kits were like $3.50, I'd feel a bit better about it. I know it's like a small difference, but I think that's just, that's part of what's annoying to me about it is the kits are like a third of the size of the newer stuff packs. So why are they half the cost, you know? Um, so I, I wish if, maybe if they went on sale or if there was like some way to bundle them, I would feel differently too. Like there's no way to bundle the kits, but if you could like bundle the kits to get like three for 10 or something, um, that would make me feel a lot better about it as well. Like just some sort of way to, to get them a little bit cheaper, but they don't go on sale, you know? Um, and the thing is these kits, they're probably like printing money for the Sims team. And it's easy for them to make because it's just assets. So like, um, I don't know, but I, I wish that there was a sale. I really badly wish there was a sale. I don't understand why it doesn't go on sale. Like, I don't know. And I really, <laughs> it's so interesting how I feel so negatively about this. Not really that negatively. It's not that bad, but you compare it to like the Sims 3 store. It would be like a dollar for one hair. <laughs> it was terrible. And like Disney Dreamlight Valley. They're charging you like six bucks for three hairstyles. It's like, oh, you want the shirt, the glasses and the shoes? 
Five dollars. Thousands of moonstones is the in-game currency. So, so like, <laughs> some of these other games, it makes the sims look cheap, which is wild. But it, the five dollars is still too much, I think. If the kits were on sale, I think it would be better. Um, I want my money back from the Sims 3 store. <laughs> I didn't ever spend a lot of money on the Sims 3 store. I, um, I, I bought a couple of things, like the toddler stuff, you know, like the, the walker and the little toddler playpen thing. Um, and I got some sets, um, like, you know when you would buy a pack and it would give you, like, a set? I had some things from that. And I also... Acquired some sets. If you will. <laughs> but, um... Anyway... <laughs> I acquired them, and that's all I have to say on the matter. So, um, I was like 13 years old, okay? Anyway. <laughs> the Sims 3, I don't understand why it still costs so much, if I'm being honest. The fact that that game is still being sold for like $20 is wild. They have no business doing that. They need to adjust that. Okay. Okay. Anything else like last minute details we want to add in? So we have the dog exam room, cat exam room, pet place, office, bathroom. Okay. Should we put it on the gallery? I think so. What do you want to call it? Oh, let me save the game. The flooring that I'm using in there is from the bowling pack. Believe it or not. This build's cute. I, I want to have my sims come here now. I'll replace the vet clinic in my legacy save with this, I think. Is there a lobby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, um, you enter in from this door into the lobby. This is like the reception desk. Um, and I didn't put any waiting room chairs in there because I sort of had this mentality of like my vet's office has you wait in your car so you can wait outside with your dog. <laughs> and then there's a public bathroom for everybody to use. This is the surgery room in here. And then there's the two exam rooms. And this is like the employee space. They have a door to the employee space specifically too. Saint Pulp, oh my God. Okay. St. Pulp's Vet Clinic. Prune Memorial Animal Hospital. <laughs> no, maybe I'll call it an animal hospital. Oh. St. Pulp Animal Hospital. There, I have more characters now. <laughs> Prude Memorial Animal Hospital. <laughs> okay, it's a one bathroom place. Um, a small vet clinic in Brindleton Bay. Hashtag Lil Simsy, hashtag vet, hashtag pulp. Okay. <laughs> Just me, Marie, uh, FFH, e Chung. Thank you for those subs, everybody. Where is the basement bowling alley? Oh God, I forgot it. Oh no, I uploaded it by accident before I put the bowling alley. Darn! We'll have to get him next time. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> That's so sad, isn't it? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, I kind of like this. I actually think that this part uh, for the animals is kind of cute. I, I think it's nice. I'm glad we did that. I think that's kind of a fun feature. Where's the rooftop garden? Where's the bookcase door? Kayla, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, let me take a screenshot really quick too, so that um, when I post this on my second channel in a couple days, I will have screenshots for the thumbnail. Sometimes I like to take the angles like this for the thumbnail. No cupcake machine? Oh man. <laughs> uh, Roar, thank you for the 14 month resub too. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> You think it feels cozy? I, I think it feels cozy too. I like the backyard. It's making me want to build a house that has like 
this sort of thing with the the courtyard kind of and the the fairy lights between it because i just think that's kind of nice you know i i like the vibes of that we don't have a shell challenge right now but maybe we should do a shell challenge kind of soon let me think about this maybe we could try to do like probably in the next couple of weeks we could do a shell challenge i'm looking at my own schedule right now I think that would be good. Okay, maybe on like, I won't say exactly a day yet, but like around like the 15th to 18th ish. So give me a couple weeks, new year, new shell. I guess we could do it sooner, hypothetically. What was I gonna do next week? Maybe we can do it next week. Okay, fine, we'll do it next week. Maybe like on Tuesday or Thursday or something next week. Okay, we'll do a shell this week. I like that idea. We can do that. The plan for the next couple of days on stream. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna play, I'm, I'm doing, I always stream in the morning on Wednesdays. Um, so I'll be here in the morning um, and we're gonna play House Flipper 2. That's the new one that just came out like a couple weeks ago. I haven't played it yet. Um, so we're gonna play the new House Flipper tomorrow. I've been kind of looking forward to it. I've been excited, so we'll do that. Um, on Thursday, we'll play the Not So Berry Challenge. Annoyingly, on Friday, I have a stupid appointment and I won't be home in time to stream, so I have to cancel that one. I originally was planning on building that day and then I realized there's no way I'm gonna be home in time. So, whatever, no stream on Friday, so sad. But on Saturday, we're gonna do a build. Here's the idea, okay? <laughs> Blue suburban neighborhood. Picture this, I'll even show you a, a template, okay? We've been talking about this for a few days now. I'll show you what I mean when I say this. We're gonna do a build kind of like the horse ranch neighborhood, the horse apartments, but it's blue suburban apartments. We're like really embracing the meme. We're committing to it. And we're gonna build a neighborhood of a bunch of blue suburbans. It's gonna be blue suburbia. <laughs> and what we'll do, I really like the idea of trying to build like an actual road down the middle, right? And we'll put like like dotted lines so it's a two-way street. We can have like some cars parked down the road. <laughs> and then there'll be like a bunch of houses, you know? <laughs> and they'll be on the road. They might have a garage. <laughs> and we'll do something like this. We'll, we'll build like blue suburbia. <laughs> we'll work on that this weekend is kind of the idea. Um, I think it'll be kind of funny. We'll like really embrace the meme. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. We could probably do like a cul-de-sac kind of thing and have a house at the end of the road or something. I don't think it'll be a 64 by 64 lot. I might do 50 by 50, um, but we'll, you know, something like that. And they'll all have like their own little driveways, you know? <laughs> like imagine how funny that'll be. I just think it'll be really cute. So we're gonna do that. There'll be some variety of sizes. One might have a pool, one might not. Um, so it's, it's kind of like the horse neighborhood that I built, but I want it to be a little bit structured. Like I want to have, you know, them all on the street instead of just kind of like weaving around a windy wood or wood road, dirt road. Sorry. Yeah. Like maybe in the Willow Creek 50 by 50, I guess also there's a, um, I don't know if this one's a good idea cause it might be oriented backwards. Let me show you blue neighborhood, like Troy Savant. Yeah, there you go. Um, no, no. Okay. San Sequoia, they have a, it's 50 by 40 up here, right? Ugh, this one's better. No, this one could work. This one could work. Wait, cause this one's long. This actually might be good. Cause it's like a long street. Yeah, make it a cul-de-sac so the road doesn't just end. Um, but yeah, it could be, we could probably put it here. Something like this. Cause I feel like this part of town really lends itself well to a, this world at least lends itself well to this sort of thing. But there could be like a road down the middle, right? And then I don't know if we're gonna have enough space on this lot actually. It might be too small. Oh, they might be too small. We might have to do a 50 by 50. It might actually have to be the one in Willow Creek. It might need to be a bit wider so they actually have space for a backyard. Shockingly, it's a little bit smaller than you think. But some, I don't know, something along this line is what we're gonna do. Wait, I'm so obsessed with the eviction music. <laughs> That's such a funny thing to say. It is kind of good though, that noise. The music it plays is kind of good. Yeah. <laughs> Father Bold, thanks for the 45 months. Bulldoze the rec center. I don't know, the rec center is a bit more like 
community lot focus the area is and it also it's a 64 by 64. Hold on, I show you. But you see how it's like completely surrounded by sidewalk? I don't know if I want it to be. I think I might want, I want it to have like grass around it. So the Willow Creek one might be better. I did build that rec center, yeah. Oh, I did build it. Like this one is probably the best bet. The lot in Del Sol Valley, oh, I can't do it. Del Sol Valley breaks my heart. It's too, the lighting is just, I can't bring myself to do that. Here, here is where it will be probably. It'll be nice, it'll be real nice. The park in San Maishuno, oh, that's actually an interesting idea for it too. Are we allowed to talk about vaccines in chat? Yeah, you can talk about vaccines in the chat. We're, uh, well, what are you gonna say? <laughs> We're very pro-vaccine here. <laughs> so if you're gonna go, so I don't think you are, but <laughs> if you're gonna go say something like, something wacky, <laughs> I don't know. But <laughs> you can you can talk positively about vaccines. <laughs> oh, can you not change the lot type in San Maishuno? I forgot about that. Is this one stuck as Maishuno Meadows? It might be locked. If it's locked, then we can't. Then never mind. It might have to be a little creek. It's okay. This isn't until Saturday, so we have some time to decide. Oh yeah, you can't change it. It's a special venue. This is a nice lot though. It is cool. I like this area. I like the the view like of the city from around here. I just think that's really nice. Cool spot. Yeah, I think 64 by 64 might be a little big as well. Yeah, some of the lots are fixed. It's not many lots that are locked. Um, it's only a few of them. That one I think is kind of weird to be locked, but I'm sure they have a reason um, for like a gameplay function. Um, oh, Alyssa, that's great news. I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome news. That's awesome. Um, some of the other locked lots, like the Strangerville one, like this thing, the secret lab, you can't make it not the secret lab because it's like necessary for gameplay so it's locked um stuff like in windenburg um like the the bluff slot is a special lot and so are the ruins you can't change it to not be the ruins anymore um even the von haunt estate they used to do a lot more like secret lots and like special types of lots back then they don't really do that as much anymore probably because it's annoying um but they used to do it more often back here. It was three. Um, no, the park in Oasis Springs isn't locked. You can do anything in Oasis Springs. Willow Creek and Oasis Springs don't have any locked lots. Um, Windenburg does, San Maishuno does. Del Sol Valley, I guess, I mean, it's not really a lot because you can't access it from build mode, but the lot like that you come to for the active career is locked, I guess. Strangerville has a locked lot. Like the high school is, it has to be a high school in high school years. Um, those have to be high schools. The dorms in Bright Chester might be locked too. I don't think you can make this into like a bar. I think it has to be university housing in these two. This one's not locked, but these two I think might be. Anyway, it kind of, it kind of makes sense though. Like when you think about how if you were to delete the high school in Copperdale, it like totally breaks the whole gameplay of the pack. So you can't make it into like a bar because all of a sudden it doesn't, the hack doesn't work right. Um, it's a little bit annoying, but I understand what they're going for. Plus this lot is like very designed to be a high school. The area all around it, like you wouldn't probably want to build something that isn't a high school there anyway, because it's so high school-y. It has like all the stuff back there, the, the football field and everything. It just looks like it could be a really nice school. No, you can't build high schools in any other lots either. The high school has to be here. With mods, you can. Um, I, I find that a little bit annoying, but it's it's made, well, probably, I haven't used a mod like that. I'm just assuming that you can. Um, I, I do appreciate how this lot is like very, very high school-y. Like this is like a really good spot to build a school. It's got everything I need for it to look like a school in the environment. So I'm not too bothered 
by this being the only high school space. I'm a little bothered by it, but it's not the worst thing in the world, so. Yeah, we have rebuilt the high school a couple of times. We could do it again soon, it's been a while. Um, but I rebuilt the high school a few times now. So, what is the difference between the roommate system in university and the tenants and for rent? Oh, couldn't be further from each other. The roommates in the uh, university pack, they, you live with just a bunch of randoms in your house that you don't control. They're just there. It's kind of buggy, super annoying. They pay you like $2. It's really worthless. The tenant system and the rent pack, you're able to actually assign them and like make the, their unit into their own proper house. They have their own lot. They, it loads as their own lot. They exist in your community spaces as if they live there, but it's way better. And it's, it's like, it, when you think of roommates, you sort of imagine yourself living like in one apartment with them, but with the, the tenant stuff in the rent pack, they live in their own apartment next to you. So, no, we're not building a school. We're just talking about how The Sims works. Um, we were building a vet clinic. I just finished it. I'm gonna get off stream here in a few minutes, probably. Um, we've just been kind of chatting about The Sims and stuff um, for the last little bit. No, you can rebuild the high school. As long as you have all the required items, you can rebuild it. Um, as long as you have like all the functional necessities, it works. I've rebuilt the high school a few times. I pretty much only, I actually know, scratch that. I only play in the high schools that I have rebuilt. I don't play in their default one, I don't like it. Um, so it works when you rebuild it. The only uh, lot that I feel a little bit wary of rebuilding is the police station from get to work. You would be fine to renovate it, but I would be wary of like bulldozing and rebuilding the police station from get to work because she's buggy as is. So it, it kind of makes me a bit nervous thinking about like deleting it and redoing it from scratch because you just don't, I don't trust them. Like I don't trust that they, it barely works how it is right now. So like when you bulldoze it, ooh, <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. Um, you could try, but I would, if I were you, I'd be a little wary of bulldozing completely. Like maybe pull out all of the necessary items and like leave them on the lot and try and just put them back instead of like getting it out of debug just in case. Cause you just, I, the height, the, or sorry, the police station is kind of iffy. So, um, the, the, it really messes with it. If I were you and you wanted to like update the police station, I would really just renovate it, like change colors and like leave it mostly as is because it barely works right now. So, um, I don't trust that game. <laughs> the career is quite bugged, the detective career, so <laughs> it's rough out there. Um, uh, as I am Maroon, talking about Tim, thank you for the raid by the way, everybody else, thank you for the subs, I really appreciate it. Father Bowl with a 45 month resub. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. Um, yeah, we just played through the detective career in Not So Berry, and I hated it. I, it's, it's like fun in theory, I guess, a little bit, but it gets so repetitive and it's so buggy. You would like try to arrest someone and then like, they wouldn't be there. <laughs> I had to go, like, I would try and reload the lot so they would be there, they wouldn't be there. I had to come back the next day to have them there before I could interrogate them. It was just like, so frustrating to work with. It was, it was quite annoying, so. My favorite get to work career is the scientist one. I think that one's actually really fun. The other two I don't care for as much. I like being a scientist and get to work though. I think it's cool, all of the stuff that you can make. The scientist career is also quite repetitive. It just has to be when you're playing through 10 levels, but the stuff that you make in the scientist career and like all the little gadgets you get are actually really cool. The one where you can clone people, like the portal to space, the, um, the freeze ray, like, <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. Like, that stuff is way, way more interesting. Um, so I do like that one a lot. That one's up there for me, and one of my favorite careers in all of The Sims 4. Um, also, the doctor one's kind of funny, too. It's, it, the doctor one's kind of hard. Maybe I'm just, like, not very smart, but the doctor one, <laughs> I misdiagnose people all the time in there. All the time. And it, like, it'll let you perform surgery on somebody. And you, like, weren't supposed to, and then you did it anyway, and there isn't really any consequence. Like, there's a little bit of consequence, because you lose a little bit of work performance, but realistically, you can just do surgery, and, like, nothing really bad is gonna happen to you. <laughs> 
So I guess that part's kind of fun too. Medical malpractice sim, you know? <laughs> yikes. <laughs> yikes, yikes, yikes. <laughs> I know, it's like, oops, I just removed your kidney. It turns out you have the flu. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Literally, because at one point, you were having to do surgery to, like, get promoted. So I was just doing surgery on everybody in hopes that it would work and I would get promoted. And that's bad. <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I think on that note... We should probably head out here soon before we start talking about too many um, things we shouldn't be doing. <laughs> so I'll be here tomorrow. We'll play House Slipper 2 tomorrow. I have to actually still have to install it. I should probably buy it right now, huh? So I don't forget. Um, but we're going to play that tomorrow and I'm looking forward to it. It should be really fun. Um, and I'll, I'll be here in, in the morning. So, oh, it's on sale. Oh. Oh, that's nice. What's the difference? I should read these later instead of doing this right now. They have a bunch of bundles. It says it's on sale for 10% off. It's $35.99. So. Anyway. You also, it looks like you can get discounts depending if you own the DLC from the first one. Cause I, I can get one for twenty eight seventy nine. The House Flipper franchise bundle. So that's good too. Um. <laughs> anyway, I'm distracted. Sorry, we should go find somebody to raid. <laughs> well, I'll be here in the morning. I stream in the morning on Wednesday. So 9 a.m. Eastern time. Um, I will be here. Oh, you know what? Um, this is not House Flipper. <laughs> uh, but one of my other favorite games right now, recently, that's sort of new, is a game called Coral Island. Um, I've been so- oops, Shella, spoilers! I've been so obsessed with it recently, and my friend Shella is playing right now. I also have a 43-month resub to share, so I kind of want to go over there, because I kind of want to watch her play Coral Island, so I might go do that now. Um, is Eastern U.S. time. Uh, the U.S. has many time zones. So it's one of the time zones in the U.S. It's on the side where, like, New York is. The East Coast. <laughs> um, the U.S. has a lot of time zones, though. But I'm, I'm in Florida. So Florida time. Eastern time is where I am. Um, so go over and say hi to Shella for me. If you haven't seen Coral Island yet, I think you're gonna like it a lot. It's actually really good. If you like Stardew Valley, seriously, give this one a shot. Because I think you'll really enjoy this. It's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's very similar, it's a farm sim, but it's got a lot of fun features, like, like, diving. <laughs> um, and like, you like clearing up trash from the bottom of the ocean. It's pretty fun. It's like a farm sim plus you save the ocean, because you're like, doing a farm sim on an island. It's pretty cool. Um, there's also cute pets in it. It's just like, it's a, it's a nice game, it's a big win. Um, so, <laughs> I think you'll like it. Um, go over and say hi for me. Aged Court and Mez, thank you for the subs. Um, and I will catch you all tomorrow, okay? Frankly, I have to leave because I plan on reading the entirety of Ruthless Vows tonight. So I'm gonna go now so I can read it. <laughs> I should have gotten off 15 minutes ago so I could finish the whole thing. Oh, I pulled my headphones out. Anyway, <laughs> see you guys. Love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> and stop streaming.